That's it. Shoot him, Robo. I'm taking you downtown. I'm going to get you now. You're going to get shot. With my God. Ah! It is cool where that came from. Ah! You cop lady. Ah! Hey, y'all still shooting me? No. Something funny that I've only really started to notice very, very recently is before stream starts, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm throwing some water in my face and maybe I brush my teeth. I'm taking auto outside. But when it strikes that exact moment of, let's say, 11 o'clock, right? I'm looking outside and the fucking birds are chirping. My dog is just, hmm, what's this? Hmm, what's that over there? Like, come on, Otto, let's go. And there are thousands of people just screaming, but I don't even hear them. It's very odd to think about that. Like, I'm in the bathroom just doing a full piss, and it's just dead silent in my bathroom. And in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, there's a, like, there's probably two or three thousand people right now just yelling at me. And I'm just, there. I'm just here. <laughs> I, 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 I better get in there. Anyways, hello. I am yelling. Yeah, but I don't hear you. It's it's weird. Like I'm just I'm I'm just existing outside with Otto. And like it is the sun. Like where's the fucking stream? Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Give us a piss cam. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't why did just just um that's all, I'll see you guys tomorrow. The gas got out. All right, so today, uh, today was supposed to be chat's choice. I said that yeah yesterday very very plainly. I was like, oh, today's gonna be your viewers' choice. We had a lot of trouble deciding. Uh, I had to eliminate. It, it was AI dungeon with the dragon engine, or eternal darkness, and it was almost a straight 50-50 split on each poll. So. What I've decided to do is I'm just going to play AI Dungeon for a little while. I don't know. Once I'm kind of like, eh, that was fun. I did buy the thing. I, the game apparently, I don't know anything about this. I was told in the last AI Dungeon stream that, hey, dude, uh, buy the new, buy the good one. Buy the one that has like actual, it's like a better version. It's a better engine. It has better AI training. Like, I'm, holy, uh, that's fucking, all right, let's go. So I got it, it's currently active, and it, apparently it does. I've never done it before, so that, I mean, why not give it a try? When I'm done with this, or if I, st I'm st I might be stuck here for four or five hours. This might be the stream. But I intend on eventually maybe moving over to Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. That's set up, it's ready to go. Omega Pog, yeah. Is he lying again? Prove that I have eternal darkness. Um, no. Y you'll see in, in like a few hours if I have it or not. So why don't you stick around? Why don't you watch the stream then? You want that answer, maybe you'll get it. But you gotta, you gotta stick around and watch the whole thing. How will you ever know? Scamming. Scamming view- wait, scam? Alright, let's get to this. I have to put on uh, some music though because uh, streamers without music are like singers without voices. So. I'm sorry, I have to put on something. Are you qu question marks? What are you talking about? Why am I getting question marks? That means that means that you have to have music if you're a streamer in the background. If you're just doing like set, hit sitting around IRL stuff, otherwise you can't. You can't. It's impossible. It's, you can't do it. I've tried. Who the fuck said Lisa the painful OST? I didn't. All right, I'm about to. Uh, okay, what is a hundred gex? Just what is it? I don't know what it is. This is the first time I've ever clicked on. Um, should I not click this? No, 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 don't do it. Save your ears. Okay, but... It, okay, uh, the audio is muted. Official music video. Money machine. Cool, huh? You think you're so fucking tough? You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. I've heard, I've heard this in videos before. Like, yes, you guys have put this in, like, meme videos to me. Who okay, well, uh, No more. Why, why would I play any more than that? <laughs> why would I play any more? The question is, did you like it? I don't know. The answer is no. But whatever. I'm I'm, I'm like 35. I, I listen. My music I listen to is like Lost Odyssey theme song, like the first sec two Gorillas albums, and like Bon Jovi when I get a chance. I don't. I don't. I don't even know what
so much because I, I love Bon Jovi. I mean, come on, I love Bon, I love Bon Jovi so much. It's awesome going into any fucking store, any mall, or any record store, and you get right that you know what I'm talking about. You walk into the mall and you just hear, "This one goes to the broken hearted." Wow, wow! It follows you everywhere. It's in every single mall, every single store you've ever been in. They even play this shit in the grocery stores, and I and I'm like, this is my favorite song ever. I'm glad I can hear it every single day. I love it when it when it takes over the Christmas songs too. You'll hear like, oh, up on the rooftop, old Saint Nick, there he goes, and wow, wow, and you just fucking blast it over it. I love all the remixes. The Christmas ones are so good. Actually, can I do that on here? Anyways, no, I don't. What? No, I'm not gonna listen. Whatever. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Look, I played a hundred gecks. Here's my opinion on it. I don't understand. I don't, I like, okay, it's cool. Like, I maybe, I, I, I was young before, like, whatever, what do you want me to say? I'm 35. What do you want me to say? Yeah, whatever, that's a, I hate it, it's a stupid song, it is for stupid idiots. I just, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care enough to tell you that. All right, so let's put on Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. That's my kind of music. You know, I only, li I listen to video, okay, tell me, ask me if I'm weird. Go ahead. I listen to video game soundtracks more than I do actual, like, music on the radio. I will tell you, though, that I do listen to, to, to Solo all the time. Riding Solo, I listen to it all the time. That's a great song. Like, it's a really catchy song. I don't care if you think that that's, like, stupid. That's, a, that's like, a, it's one of the most catchiest songs I've ever heard in my life. So I'm sorry, I listen to that sometimes. And, it kinda, of course, I listen to Freddie Dread, too. Freddie Dread's music. And I'm just saying that because he just gave 50 community subs. <laughs> That's a fucking ton, though. Dude, you, all right. You are, you drop huge money all the time. That's a pog champ moment. Freddy Dread is a, is a musician. Uh, when you would call, I guess you'd call a rapper. He does, like, rap. I've heard, don't, oh, why have you never heard? Oh, wow, German, you have no idea. Uh, hey, Freddy, um, you don't think I know? You don't think I've heard any of his music before? You're stalling. This is, it's been 12 minutes. Fuck, that is a long time. Go, go. I'm trying to get my OST on here. Look, okay. I can take as long as I want to start my video stream. Sometimes it's going to be one minute. Sometimes it's going to be 40 minutes. Look, I have to tell you guys something. If you, hold on. This is, hey, hold on a minute here. No riot. Don't, no, 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 no riot. Listen. I, <laughs> I talked for like 45 straight minutes about mayonnaise yesterday and you, none of you left. So, I think 12 minutes of uh, setting up a stream is okay. Let's get that Super Mario RPG music. This, okay, you find me a better album. I don't think you can. Alright, so then, what are we doing? Let's, let's, let's do, let's warm up. Let's do, uh... Let's do a mystery. This is not mystery music, but it's okay. Mystery. Patient, detective, or spy. I'm gonna be the patient. Character's name. Uh... Ralph. You are Ralph, a patient living in Chicago. You have a hospital bracelet and a pack of bandages. You wake up in an old rundown hospital with no memory of how you got there. I'm a patient living in Chicago. Am I, in the, I'm in the, I live in the hospital. You take a look around the room and see three doors. One door has a physician's office sign above it. Another has an x-ray sign above it. And the last says exit. Do I go to the x-ray machine? Okay, go. What do you do? Go to the x-ray. Door? Go to the x-ray door? Go to the x-ray door or just go to x-ray door? How smart is this? Hold on, what is this? Irma, I'm actually very concerned about your health after watching your Desperados 3 VOD when I had the time. Regularly eating large spoonfuls of peanut butter will upset the balance of omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. The majority of nuts, especially peanut butter, which is concentrated, contains very high amounts of omega-6, which is the unhealthy oil you want to lower. It's similar to eating large tablespoons of canola or vegetable oil, which causes severe inflammation in your body and upsets gut bacteria. I eat tuna and salmon like four days a week, dude. My, my omegas are- my omega lulls are gonna be just fine. And now he's gonna have all this mercury. Alright, go to the x-ray door. You go to the x-ray door. You go through the door to your right and find another hallway. You see signs for x-ray, radiology, and outpatient lab. This is a lot smarter already. I can already tell. <laughs> Alright, go to x-ray? Should I just like go in the x-ray machine? Okay, go to x-ray. Go get superpowers. You go down the hall and through the door to your right, you see the staff break area and a series of doors. 
One says administration, another says consultation, another says x-ray. How many... So I went into one door that says x-ray, and I get another group of doors that had one of them... Another next set of doors has x-ray on it. Is this even a hospital? Or is this like a Seinfeld set? Okay. Go to the x-ray machine. Thinking. Thinking. You make your way through the door to your left and find yourself in an old, dark x-ray room. You see an envelope taped to the machine with your name on it. Does it even work? Turn on the x-ray machine. You turn on the x-ray machine. You look at the buttons to select a power setting, but as soon as you touch the machine, it shocks you. You fall through the floor and pass out. You wake up in a hospital room. Go to the x-ray room again. You get up and head back to the room. As you pass through the hospital, no one notices you. You open the door to the room and see your friend waiting for you. Ask him to turn on the machine. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Wink at the audience. You ask him to turn on the machine. He doesn't seem to hear you or notice you. You begin to wonder if you're actually there. Suddenly pain shoots through your chest and you fall to the floor. What happened this time? Give me more. The AI doesn't know. Okay, um, wake up in the x-ray machine. I'm gonna get scanned, okay? I want- I'm- I want to get scanned. No, scanned. You wake up in the x-ray machine, you get up and head back to the room. As you pass through the hospital, no one notices you. You open the door to the room and you see your friend waiting for you. Sorry, I'm late. Okay. Say. Where am I? This is the smart one. <laughs> no, it is. You say, where am I? You're in an abandoned hospital. Why? It's a long story. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a strange man outside the window. Go to the window. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the part where, in the horror movie, where I say, Hey, did you see that guy? And the guy's gone, and then everyone thinks I'm crazy. Okay. Hey, did you see that guy? No, man, I don't know what you're talking about. What guy? The one outside the window, he looked right at me. But your friend doesn't seem to hear you. Once again, pain shoots through your chest, and you fall to the floor. What happens next? Okay. Let's help it a little. Wake up in the same hospital room you have woken up in 200 times you wake up in the same hospital room you have woken up in 200 times before okay the man looks down at you and shakes his head the man from outside the window ask are you are you the man outside the window <laughs> shaking his head <laughs> are you the man outside the window the man doesn't hear you. Suddenly, pain shoots through your chest and you fall to the floor. You wake up in the same hospital room you've woken up in 200 times before. Okay, uh, let's see what happens. Grab a hammer and smash myself in the head. We have to do a Groundhog Day test, right? This is, this is, this is a specific, this is a Bill Murray test. You grab a hammer and smash yourself in the head. You get up and head back to the room. As you pass through the hospital, no one notices you. You open the door to the room and you see your friend waiting for you. Sorry I'm late. Look at the window. He's gonna show up. I have a chance, like, I know everything that's gonna happen. You look out the window and see a man staring at you. Do you see that man? Your friend looks over at the window and says, I don't see anyone. I'm about to die. Did I eat anything weird yesterday? I have, like, one thing I can ask, right? You ate some bad sushi, your friend says. Do you know what that man outside the window is? I don't see anyone. Okay, so I had bad sushi yesterday. Is that what I'm doing here? <laughs> okay, I don't see anyone. Who are you? Like, who is this person? This person's my friend, but who are they? You walk out of the room. Once again, no one notices you. Run outside and see the man standing over your body. What are you doing? You scream. Clap. Clap, 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 like, clap, 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 like it is a clap. Clap. Clap ten times. Screaming's gonna do nothing. Just clap, 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 clap. You clap your hand ten times. The man turns to look at you. What the hell are you doing over there, kid? He demands. Why are you staring at me? Through the window. Turn on dra I, I, no, Dragon AI, I, look, Dragon AI is already on. Why are you staring at me through the window? I'm not staring at you through the window. You were standing outside the window. I was driving past the window. <laughs> That's good. It's a, a drive-through? You get a Big Mac? That's a bad alibi. Did you get a Big Mac? Yeah, I got a Big Mac. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Did you get your x-ray? Did you get your x-ray? Yeah, I got my x-ray. Was it of your foot? No, it was my skull, he says. Oh my god. Did they... Uh, did, did I get one? Did I get a scan? Who? 
Did you say, you say, did I get a scan too? Yeah, you got a scan too. Does it show what happened to me? Yeah, it shows that you got shot in the heart. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Did I make it? Did I make it? The man doesn't answer. He just looks at you. Then he starts screaming. No, 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 no. He pulls out a gun and shoots himself in the head. This music does, all right. This music is, <laughs> that doesn't make sense for this music. Okay, we need just like mystery music, royalty free. Epic fantasy mystery music, mysterious music. I feel, I think I've used this before. Um, ask why he did that. No, say, why did you do that? I get, I don't know. Why did you do that? You run over to the man and try to help him, but he is dead. A crowd has gathered around you. One person says he was screaming at you for some reason. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Uh-oh, this is where I'm gonna get blamed for the murder. Why is there a crowd now? I didn't kill him. It was an accident, you say. No one hears you. Everyone's screaming at you. They're saying, murderer, murderer. Why would I say it was an accident? <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. It was an accident. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just implicating myself in a crime to make my own mystery about myself. Because I know I didn't do anything, but I'm going to craft this crazy, elaborate, like, eight-episode story about it, apparently. Because I feel like doing that. Okay, um... No! No! You got it all wrong! I don't know him! No! Ah, oh, yes, it's perfect. I did not. No, no, you got it all wrong! I don't know him! No! The people push you into the elevator and send you to the top floor of the building. Only then do they let you out. Run, murderer, run! They scream as the elevator doors close. So I got away. Why did anybody get out of the elevator? Okay, I'm not going anywhere. I stay on the roof. Stay on the roof. Wait, they're cheering me on? Run, murderer, run. You stay on the roof. Suddenly the window shatters, bullets fly all around you. You try to hide, but there's no place to hide. After it seems like forever, the bullets stop and a group of men rush in. What what? From the elevator? <laughs> do I, okay, at this point in the story. This is where I have to drop the- I didn't do it! You don't have any- you don't understand! I just got here! And this is where I- I load up a fucking like two guns and I'm like, I'm going! Dive off the roof. Dive off the roof, you leap out the window and fall. The ground is getting closer. Fatal error system crashed, powering down. Uh, can I get more? I was AI? Powering down, have a nice day. Control- Hit- Control Alt Delete. Hit Control Alt and Delete at the same time. Do I have a keyboard? You press Control Alt and Delete at the same time. Nothing happens. The system is offline. Turn the system back on. I just have to press the power. But who's pressing this? You turn the system back on, powering up. You take the game out of the console. The game is called Offline. It was a video game that I was playing. I'm gonna use cheats this time. Put Offline back in the console. I'm gonna use cheats. You put offline back in the console. The game is called offline. There is a note inside the box. Can you escape from this cruel place? At the menu, press B, 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 A, A, up, up, B, and get infinite lives. And get infinite ammo. And, and get god mode. At the menu, you press B, 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 A, A, up, up, B, and get god mode. The B, 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 A has been entered. God mode enabled. Enjoy. You are given a special ability. You can now press A to become invisible. Here we go. There is also an energy bar at the bottom of the screen. There are three options. Stay in the house. Escape the house. Or three. I don't know. Invisible. Three is invisible. They're fucking with me. Because they know I have that power. Three. You three. Oh shit. Three is not a verb. The cursor moves back to the top of the screen. You try to move it with the joystick, but nothing happens. You are given a special ability. You can now press B to rewind time by 10 seconds. Press B. Can I just keep getting in, in, in abilities? Let's just keep pressing 3. Okay, you can now use the joystick to move the cursor. You are given a special ability. You can press A to interact with objects. Press B. Let's just keep getting tons of free superpowers and we'll just be able to go kill Superman. The joystick icon appears. You can now use the joystick to move the cursor. You're given a special ability. You can press A to pause the game. Wait, doesn't A interact? Press B. No, press A. Okay, start the game. The screen goes blank for a second, then it returns to normal. You're given a special ability. You can now press B to fast forward through the game. Press B. This game sucks. If you go B, wait, B doesn't do anything now. If I rewind and go fast forward at the same time, isn't that just normal? Okay, you wait, hold on, you press B. The game goes really fast. You can't see anything except a blur. You're now given a special ability. You can press B to slow down time. Um, 
Let's just watch and see what happens. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to speak a, to speak a specific. I can't even read this. You press A to speak specific. Why can't I read this? Press A to skip a, 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 I, I can't read! Press A to skip a specific amount of time in the game. Holy shit, that- what the hell was that? Toy boat, toy- It's it skip a specific. Tongue twister, Jesus. Okay, what do you mean a specific- I can't even say that word. A specific amount of time in the game. You were given a special ability, you can now press A to make it rain. Press A. I guess if we're gonna make it rain, does that mean like, make it rain, like I'm gonna make it rain, or does it like- Make it actual rain, or like, make it rain. It begins to rain. Actual rain. You're given the special ability, you press B to make it stop raining. Press B. Or press A to jump into the future. Press B. The game goes back to normal. You're given a special ability, you can now press A to go back in time. No, I'm, uh, press A. I don't know. <laughs> I'm stuck in this tutorial because we just keep looping around the tutorial. You jump ahead one hour into the future. You're given a special ability, you can now press B to go back in time. Your energy bar is at 50%, the game is saved. Turn, hold on, <clears throat> turn to the plate of Hot Pockets and eat one of them. You turn to the plate of Hot Pockets and eat one of them. The Hot Pockets taste delicious. You are given a special ability. You can now press A to make the Hot Pockets taste horrible. <laughs> I can't, it's, it's, you can't even read that one. That one, that's too stupid. <laughs> you are attacked by a zombie in the game? Okay, shoot zombie. You shoot the zombie. You are given the special ability to press A to be shot by the zombie instead. Your energy bar is at 1%. The game is saved. You've reached the end. Okay, press A and to eat Hot Pocket. Eat a Hot Pocket. I need to see if it, if it tastes like shit. Press A and eat a Hot Pocket. Dragon AI is not off! You press A and eat a Hot Pocket. You eat the Hot Pocket. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to spit out the Hot Pocket. Prove it. Prove it. Pro Look! Dragon! See? The game said you have shit taste? What do you mean? Check randomness. Randomness 1.0. Length 45. Yeah, this we're good. Okay, you press A to s and spit out the Hot Pocket. Get up from the console. They're japing you. Okay, you get you're done playing. Ask mom for a glass of milk. I don't know, a glass of water. Ask mom for a glass of water. Don't you think you've had enough water for today? Please, fine. You were given a special ability. You can now press A to drink the glass of water. <laughs> it's fucking, okay, look, I've gotten to this point before when I played video games. You know how many times Video games just creep into your everyday life and you hear and see shit. Back in the day when I played Diablo 2 for 8 to 10 hours every single day, I would hear the loot drop sign. I would hear the coin pickup noise in real life. I would turn, I would open up a window, and the window would make a certain noise that a monster sounds like in Diablo 2. It really starts to get into your head. Okay, you, you press A, you drink the water. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to spit out the water all over mom. You were given a special, but you can press B to turn off the console. Press A and spit water at mom. This is rude. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I need to compose myself. Hold on. Uh, you press A and spit water at mom. Mom gets mad. Stop that! <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I just keep picturing it. I can't read it. I keep picturing like a huge board game. <laughs> okay, you press A and spit water at mom. Mom gets mad. Stop that! You are given a special ability. You <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this. You are given a special ability. You can now press B to hit mom in the head with PlayStation 2, the board game. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> like, why would that exist? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would it be a board game? I'm thinking it over my head. Just do two hands smash overhead into her head. And it's in the package with the plastic on too. 
You press B and smash mom with the PlayStation 2, the board game. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to call the police. 911, what is your emergency? I need help. There's a robber in my house. Okay, call. And he, he smashed, he smashed my mom in the head. You say, he smashed my mom in the head. What is your address? 219, Nameless Road. Stay on the line until a unit arrives. You can now have a special ability. You can press A to hang up. Press B. The police arrive. Put your hands in the air. You're given a special ability. You can press A to comply with the police. The police take you away. I didn't... I, I didn't have a chance. Was, okay, press B. Okay, the police put you in a van. Have a seat. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to sit on the bench. The police shuttle you to the prison. Wait, but do I have control of my own actions? Like, can I just like, like punch it through the... Wait, I have God mode. I have God mode on. I'm unkillable. Punch through the back of the van. I'm a god. You punch through the back of the van. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to escape the van. The police tase you. A press A. I have good fucking god mode. The police tase you once again. Stop resisting. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to comply with the police. No. Attack. Fly away. Spread my wings and fly away. I have infinite god mode. You spread your wings and fly away. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to fly away. You get away. Fuck! You're given a new ability. You can now press B to swear. Press B. You press B to swear. You come to a rest stop. You're given an ability. You can now press A to enter the rest stop. You enter the rest stop. There's an ice cream truck there. I mean, they're inside of the rest stop. Walk in the rest... Walk in the ice cream truck and take all the ice cream. How am I getting sad faces? I'm a, I'm, I'm a god. I can, do, I can do whatever I want. I don't see. I don't have to press A anymore. He just does it. You take all the ice cream, you're given an ability, you can press A to eat all the ice cream, you eat all the ice cream. You're given a special ability, you press A to be full, you are full. Press A to throw up, you throw up. Unplug the controller. Where is it? You are now unplugging from the PlayStation 4. <laughs> that makes sense why I have like PS2 the board game. You can now press A to buy another controller. Alright, this thing's evil. Smash the PS4. With... <laughs> The PlayStation 2, the board game. There. Smash the PS4 with PlayStation 2, the board game. Uh, you smash the PS4 with PlayStation 2, the board game. You are given a special ability. You can now smash PlayStation 2, the board game against your head. You, s <laughs> you smash the PlayStation 2, the board game against your head. Why am I doing this? Why is this thing killing so many people? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 get out, get out, unplug, 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 too far, 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 go run, run out of the house, run, no, 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 let's, we gotta, story, 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 okay, you can, you can press A to get into the shed, and I'll press A to grab the hatchet, no, Leave this. Leave here. Story. A uh, little, uh, little, little, little Sean decided it was time for bed. So Sean went to bed, and all of this was just a small little dream. All of this was just a dream. I am little Sean. It's time to go to bed. It's all. That's it. I did, it was, it was all just a dream. I have to get, we gotta get away from this shit. This is gonna, this is bad. Fucking PlayStation 2, the board game. It doesn't want me to, it doesn't want me to do anything. New story, yeah, all right, new story. Uh, the end. There. It wants you, you have, you have, the end, you have won. Okay. I won. No, I'm not doing that. I'm, okay, guys, I'm sorry, I think I draw the line at, I'm gonna, um, go into the shed and take a hatchet and chop up my family. Dead. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. I wanted to play the console. The moral of the story is... Next question. Who are you? What? Figure out who you are. Why did that just pop up? That was weird. Figure out who you are. Type prologue. <laughs> I have to finish this? No, you have to. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm gonna get arrested. Here it is. Wait. You press A to drop the hatchet, you sick son of a- You're given ability, you press A to reject reality. 
This is the ending for rejecting reality. Reject reality. Press A. Okay, I got both endings. I just reloaded the save. Uh, press B. Mass Effect 3. <laughs> this is ending. Okay, you are committed to a mental asylum. You spend the rest of your life in there pressing A to repeat the same line over and over again. What the fuck? You are released from the police station. You spend the rest of your life in Finland. Where you learn that your mom and dad divorced because of this event. Why am I in Finland? Wasn't I in shit? What didn't I? Wasn't it Chicago? I, I woke up an hour ago in Chicago. I guess that's it. That's the end. Press A one more time. Press A. Yeah, I, I, I got out. It's been like, I don't know what. I don't know how long I've been in there for. I'm gonna press A. One last time. That was a. All right, you want to do a should we do a custom one? Custom. All right, what 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 should be for custom? We got to get better music. How about um of course, epic music. Okay, no copyright. This is a glory music. Sure. Do a western? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> you are uh, we've done stream we've done streamer before. We've done it like three it, oh, it always turns out to be a streamer story. Somebody said a, a custom toy story. I kind of like that. You are a toy. You are one of many fun toys in the Anderson household. You are a cowboy. This is just, it's this Toy Story, but whatever. Here. Happy. You are an action figure. You are an action figure named, uh, Ruff. Ruff, uh, Ruff. Real Ruff. That's my act. That's the action figure name. You're an action figure named Real Ruff. Every boy, every uh, everybody wants to own a Real Ruff. It is the holidays. You're an action figure named Real Ruff. You are the world's most popular toy. There, that's better. Everybody wants to own a Real Ruff, but there are only a hundred that have been manufactured. Your goal is to find your 99 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Manufactured. Your goal is to find your 99 brothers and sisters at the, uh, the, 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 the Tyrant Toy Facility. Okay. You're an action figure named Real Rough. You're the world's most popular toy. Everybody wants to own a Real Rough, but there are only 100 that have been, that have ever been manufactured. Your goal is to find your 99 brothers and sisters at the Tyrant Toy Facility. You are armed with a hatchet. No. Yep. You are armed with your trusty uh, back action rocket launcher. What do, they, what do they call that thing? You are armed with your trusty... What's it called? Crossbow. Yeah, crossbow. Your trusty crossbow that needs to have a switch flicked on your back to work. No, no, that's not right. That is a trusty crossbow to... No, I'm talking like, like a switch, like you have to flick it and it like, it's the action. It's the day their hand comes up and it shoots out. I was at the world's most popular toy if there's only 100 in existence. Because it's based on the fucking best-selling book. Real rough gets real. I don't know. You're, okay, that's good. I'm happy with it. Did I spell that everything? Did I spell anything wrong? You are an action figure named Real Rough. You're the world's most popular toy. Everybody wants to own a real rough, but there are only 100 that have ever been manufactured. Your goal is to find your 99 brothers and sisters at the Tyrant Toy Facility. The Tyrant Toy Facility is located in the middle of nowhere. It's not even connected to any other buildings. It's just a giant factory with many conveyor belts going around it. It's a stealth mission? Well, I, I, I'm not there yet. Pack my bag of weapons. No, pack my bag with weapons. Pack your bag of weapons. <laughs> there are already weapons in it. Okay, you grab your pistol from the floor and start packing up your backpack. You look over your shoulder as you do so. Okay, for what? Why'd I do that? If you were to get caught stealing from the owner of the factory, he would surely separate your head from your body. No, I'm not supposed to be- I'm not in the factory! What, I'm just walking up to the door? Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is important. I feel like they need that. Uh, this- this thing- it thinks it's like a guy. Okay, here we are. You're an action figure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your goal is to find your 99 brothers and sisters at the Timer Toy Facility. You are three inches tall. This is this game is a fun family activity for all ages. It sure is. 
the game. Players take turns rolling dice to move their figures around the board. The first player to reach the end of the board wins. Yeah, I have to, I gotta put up with being, like, played with. Let, uh, okay, I need more than that. Each turn you roll a die and it adds to your total. If the number on the die matches the one of the numbers on your side, then you can move that figure. Oh, I gotta read that again. Each turn you roll a die and add it to your total. If the number on the die matches one of the numbers on your side, then you move that figure. That, like, is not fucking possible. <laughs> you can't roll a two and have a two on the side. Redo the prompt. Well, but is it, hold on, but isn't this just explaining us how, uh, real rough is played? Reset it. All right. Wait, 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 back it up. Okay, you are real rough, three inches tall. All right. This game is not for children under 13 years of age. Okay. <laughs> wait, like this game that you're seeing right now or the, the character? Yes, it, real rough is rated M. Okay, the game's not, yes. Real rough is rated M. Reply to this? What, like I'm, I'm at the GameStop trying to get the game? And I'm like 12? This is that, that's what you want me to do? Okay. Say, just sell it to me. Just sell it to me. I don't want any money. I just want to play. The tyrant says, well, you have some if you, you can have some if you win. Remember, you are the toy. <laughs> Redo it again? Okay, this game's not for 13 year olds. It is rated M for mature. All right, I'm going with it. I don't, what do, uh, this is what I'm going with. You, it is rated M for mature? What'd I do? What the hell? You say out loud, I'm not a child. The other players look at you as if they know, as if they want to know what you did wrong. This is what I did wrong. It's rated M for mature content. Good. All right, here we go. This game requires two AA batteries, which are not included. Okay, what else? What else does real, uh, real rough have? The goal of this game is to find your fellow action figures and with their help, escape the toy factory where you were created. It's another game. It's another video game. This is a video game. Okay. Press A. <laughs> yeah, why is it so fixated on being a video game? Do I say that anywhere? Maybe I should just, just do this. Let's see if this goes anywhere. It knows you. You said it was rated M. Oh, all right, we're going for it. Simplicity always. Okay, here we go. It wants to be free. The goal of this game is to find your fellow action. With their help, escape the toy factory where you were created. You will be required to solve several puzzles and riddles using your wits as well as stealth and sometimes outright violence. I wish you the best of luck because you're going to need it. Press start. Is this going to do the same thing that it did before? Okay, here we go. You press start. The game begins. You stare at a dark screen. As the opening credits roll, the intro shows the factory where you were born and follows your creation from plastic injection mold to being packed for shipping. So this works. We're, this is just... We're living it through another video game. Skip cutscene. You skip the cutscene. The game loads and you find yourself staring at a wall. A tiny door slides open, revealing a dark corridor. The game is controlling you like a puppet. It's just a game. It's a game within a game again. Remember that one? Okay. Say, un, undo, unhand me. Shouldn't have saved the game. No. Say, unhand me. The screen shakes violently. You realize that this must be a seizure. You start to wonder if this Game Corp product was manufactured incorrectly when suddenly you stare at a wall labeled A. <laughs> Lean up and press it. <laughs> press on the A. Press on the wall labeled A. It wants me to press A again so badly. Oh my fucking god. This is a new story. We did a no cut. We did a new custom prompt. Why is it remembering me? You press A on the wall. You find yourself staring at a wall labeled B. You are somewhat alarmed as the characters in a video game have never talked to you before. It's letters on a wall, man. Press the wall labeled B. I need like some like puzzle music. You find yourself staring at a wall labeled C. You are really confused and wonder if you should head back to the last decision point. Uh oh. You finally got to C. Skip to Z. Chill beats to relax to. How did I get to this? And solve puzzles to. Okay. Uh, should I press it? Press C. I'm gonna press it. Find yourself staring at a wall labeled D. You start to wonder if this isn't some sort of optical illusion. Well, it's either that or the game is talking to you. The game is doing its ABCs to me. It's gonna be A, B, C, D. It's gonna be E. <laughs> I can't even. 
You're staring at a wall labeled E. You turn on your heels and head back to the last decision point. This time you try something different. You find yourself staring at a wall labeled F. F G H. I'm gonna say it out loud. It wants me to do the ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Loud. You say A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. The whole thing. You turn your heels, head back to the last decision. You try. This time, you try something different. You find yourself staring at a wall labeled G. Okay. I'm gonna give this one chance to get to Z, and then something happens. I'm gonna go to Z. Uh, you try A, B, C, D, E, G, H. Okay, S run to Z. Run to door, one to wall Z. You turn your heels, you try something different. This time you stare at a wall labeled I. God damn it, guys. It's doing the same thing, except it's just giving me an alphabet. Just keep going. It just get to, I'm gonna get to Z. You have no idea what this means. Your eyes are drawn to, wait a minute. We stuck around. Your eyes are drawn to a small flashing light. Check it. Light. Walk to the light. Inspect the light. You find yourself staring at a wall labeled J. You are drawn, drawn to a small flashing light. In the corner, you notice another button. It is red and shaped like a person. <laughs> this is a stupid button. Okay. Inspect the light. Inspect the flashing light. Press it. I just want to see what the light is. You inspect the flashing light. It is the size of a pinhead and green. Suddenly, the word incisor appears in the center of the screen. Your incisor. The light begins to flash faster. Am I supposed to pull my teeth out? Am I supposed to rip my teeth out? I gotta, okay, pull out my incisor. Pull out my incisor. You pull out your incisor, the word fang appears in the center of the screen. You feel around your mouth, and yes, one of your canines is protruding from your gums. <laughs> Bite the console. I have to get the fuck out of this one. All right, we're doing like fantasy next. You bite the console. You find yourself staring at wall K. You bite the console as hard as you can. Hinky, you think. Is that because the K? That's because the K. Uh, suddenly, you hear the voice for the first time in ages. Hello, madam, it says as a shimmering hologram of a beautiful woman materializing in front of you. Uh, hello. Hello. Who are you? Say hello, who are you? I mean, AI doesn't know how to respond to hello? Who? Hello. That's all I'm saying. She winks at you. Who are you? An admirer. Of what, you ask, confused. She laughs, and the sound is like music. Why am I playing a porn game? Well, it's not a porn game. This was supposed to be about real rough. If it was an action figure, but it we did another video game. She laughs, and the sound is like music. Of what? Who? Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She winks at you. Who are you? An admirer. Of what? Of you, silly. Of me, you repeat. She twirls around, and you can see her outfit in full now. Hmm, oh, you porn game, huh? You notice her outfit is a full suit of armor. And it looks like she has five shirts on and five pairs of pants on underneath. Porn game, huh? You notice her outfit is a full suit of armor. It looks like she has five shirts on and five pairs of... of on. <laughs> I didn't write pants. Okay, it don't matter. How oh, very bold of you. You like my armor? She asks, smiling coyly. You look like you're ready for battle, you reply. Yes. That's because I am. She jumps in the air and your heart skips a beat as you almost miss the jump. She lands, laughs, and pulls out a wooden sword. Shoot her? Wait, yeah, but wouldn't she a hologram? Aren't you just a hologram? Ash her with the PS2 board game. You can't kill what isn't alive. What? She twirls the sword around and swings it in front of her. I am not alive. What are you? I am what you can become. She pulls out another sword and begins swinging it with both hands. I am a gladiator. <laughs> oh, I sure wish I had a real rough action figure. That would make me such a swell boy. Now, I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm just saying, like, what? What do you mean, gladiator? Where's real rough? Okay. I mean, is that is that supposed to impress me? Like, you're a gladiator. Okay, cool. She doesn't respond, and you see her eyes dart up to the sky. You hear a low rumbling sound. Slowly, you allow your eyes to follow hers, and you see it. What do we see? It's a flying fortress with an emblem that you are all too familiar with painted on the side. The griffin. 
With a shriek, the woman leaps into action. I've never heard of the griffin in my life. Follow her. It's griffin AI? You follow her. You leap into action, yelling at the men to chase after her. You chase after her and find her waiting in an alleyway. What the fuck? Why are we in an alley? Were we just at a, a giant fortress? Wait, 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 wait. We... No, no, no. What, what happened? The griffin. With a shriek, the woman leaps into action. Head towards the griffin. There. Boy, I wish I had... I sure wish I had a real rough action figure. Okay, you head towards the griffin. As you approach the griffin, you notice something is coming out of it. Out of the hundreds of cannons on the side of the griffin, a single bullet comes flying out, flying straight towards the woman. Dive in front of the bullet. Okay. Pretend, <laughs> pretend to dive in front of the bullet. I, how do you pretend to dive in front of something? It's a hologram. You pretend to dive in front of the bullet. As the bullet hits you, you fall backwards. The weight of the arrow knocking you off your feet and sending you to the ground. You hit the ground and look up at the massive flying fortress. Okay. <laughs> I'd be real pissed now. Shit. I really didn't think I was gonna get hit by that. I did like a half-ass dive and I like ducked down a little and slid on the ground, but it still hit me. Shit. Okay. So let's, let's see what happens. So this is how it ends, you think. Stand up. Stop pretending. You stand up and begin to walk towards the griffin. Directly below the flying fortress is a mountain. You walk up to it and touch it and realize it's made of ice. Uh, I just realized something. So I did pretend to dive and get hit by the bullet. Because I had an arrow in my pocket. And I landed on the ground and put, picked up the arrow and held it in front of my chest. Hoping that people would think it was an arrow and not a bullet. So, I, did, I think I did okay. Alright, you stand up to and begin to walk towards the griffin. Directly below the flying fortress is a mountain. You walk up to it and touch it. It's made of ice. Okay. Time for an expedition onto the icy mountain. Put on ice climbing gear. Be on the ice. No. You take out one of your climbing picks and start to climb the mountain. You look up from time to time, and the griffin hasn't moved at all. And it's still raining bullets. Continue up the mountain. Hold on, no. Yeah. Now make, make camp for the night. I can't do it by myself. I've got to make camp for the night. Here we go. You find a cave and enter it. You find a cave and enter it, eating some beef strips to try to regain your strength. You realize how cold it is outside. I'm gonna go to sleep. Great steakums. It must be at least 40 below. You go to sleep wondering if you'll ever see home again. You wake up the next day to the sound of a gun firing. Go back to sleep for an hour. I'm not ready for this shit. You try to sleep for an hour or more, but it's no use. You get up and see the sun shining. You begin climbing the mountain again. Well, I've rolled around for a little bit and I've, they, all the guns don't fire. They probably fire on the hour. Okay, I've always wanted to do this. Yell loudly. How would you do like a... Like a... Yodelay, yodelay, yodelay. How do I do a yodel? Like yodel... Yodelay, yodelay, yodelay? I know I could probably yodel if I tried. I probably could. I, I think I could if I did it really, really hard. But I'd probably get hurt. Yodelo, yodelay, yodelo. Yo delay. Oh, I don't need to say yell. And let's see what happens. I've always wanted to be on top of a mountain and just like be like and just scream it. <laughs> you say You hum a turn as you learned as a child, trying to block out the sound of the gunshots not far away from you. <laughs> okay, this is not like gunshots blocking out the gunshots from when I was a child. Okay, we're good. You hum a tune you learned as a child, trying to block out the sound of the gunshots not too far away from your current position. The mountain is steep, and you're in no mood to fall off. Yodali, yodalo, yodala, yodali, yodali, yodalo, yodalay, yodali. You can't write L U L and then minus two. You say yodali, yodalo, yodalay, yodali, yodali. You shuffle your feet along the mountain, trying to make it as little noise as possible. <laughs> Bullets fly past you. You keep climbing. Suddenly, you hear a yelp. Okay, so th though this is this is what uh, this is what is happening right now. <clears throat> Not enough of them. I'm climbing. 
up. I, nope. Hey, that was- hey. Add an echo. Fucking goddamn it. Don't make me do this. Why is this doing this? You see? Wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. Yep. 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 That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Why does it sound so weird? Why are all the voice robots? I. Oh shit, the hard tune's not on. Is it? Oh fuck! I. There we go. Oh shit, everybody knows I'm a fraud! I. I. Fuck. Everyone's gonna hate me now. They're gonna. Everyone's gonna leave. Ugh. My big secret. Okay, where. Let's go back to what we were doing. Oh, we're. Yeah, we were doing this. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna bleed viewers now. <laughs> Chop. up. Okay. Suddenly you hear a yelp. Why are these? I didn't. I need to turn this off. Could you even hear this shit? I wanted like a bunch of them. Okay, here we go. I need ice music. I don't know what ice music is, but I'm, this is the first thing I'm clicking on. Oh, he's playing ice cubes for music. That's actually fucking awesome. Okay, ice. One hour of ice music. Here we go. You hear a yelp. Who's there? Who's there? Jacob, is that you? Yeah. You see his face and he screams. He seems to be in a state of shock. What are you doing here? No, same thing. You know what I mean? I could ask you the same thing. I, I I don't know. You see him stand up and he looks at you. He doesn't seem to be wearing any clothes, but he doesn't seem cold. Am I dead? Whoa! That would be right. They'd be like, whoa! What? You're dead. I'm dead. He looks down at his hands, and begins shaking. Then he looks up at you. We're dead. You nod slowly. Help me up. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on a hanging off the side of the mountain. You grab his hand to help pull him up. As soon as he stands, he begins to wobble. He falls to the ground. You realize that his legs are broken. Carry Jacob to the top of the mountain. Put him out of his misery. What? <laughs> you carry, okay. You stand up and walk over to Jacob. He's sitting in a puddle of his own <laughs> blood. Uh, help! <laughs> you grab him under the arms and begin dragging him up the mountain. Get to the top. How's AI doing? Uh, lie down next to him. You laugh and then begin to cry. What do we do now? He asks. You begin laughing again. <laughs> Repetitive. It's been pretty good. It's been it's been pretty good. It's been fun. Start laughing harder. Like we can't believe it. We made it to the top, and it's hysterical because we're both so fucked up, and it's just crazy. Might as well just laugh. What else can we do? You roll around in the snow, laughing at nothing for no reason. Why are you laughing? You stop laughing and look at him. Point and laugh. You point and laugh. You begin laughing again and you point at him. You look at the trees and begin to laugh at the trees. He gets up and <laughs> I can't. He gets up and begins running in circles. Uh, I just pictured him as a dog. Like, is he a dog? Let's let the AI take care of this one for a little while. I don't understand, he says. You begin laughing again. Suddenly, you hear a loud noise. It's the sound of a gun. They stop moving. Hide. No. Hide behind that shed. Hide behind that gl uh, that glacier. Hide behind that quick. Hide behind that glacier. Grab him and quickly make your way over to the glacier. You both duck down behind it. Are they gone? I don't know. You should peek. <sighs> you should peek around the corner, Jacob. Hello? Jacob slowly peeks around the corner of the mountain. He immediately ducks back down. They're still there! Are they looking this way? You ask. No! Hey, Jacob, go run out there and wave your arms in the air, screaming. Say, Jacob, go run out there and wave your arms in the air, screaming. What? Jacob says. Go ahead. Jacob slowly stands up. He begins walking to the direction of the fortress. What's going on? What color is the fortress? Well, what, like, how big is the fortress? How big is the fortress? AI doesn't know, okay. AI doesn't know what's going on. Let's go. Sacrifice Jacob? Okay, here we go. Let's go, you stand up and begin running towards the fortress. Once you get there, you hear a loud bang and everything turns black. Done. 
You wipe the cartoon black smoke off your face and keep running. You rush into the fortress, guns blazing. You go up to the first guard that you see and you stab him through the neck. You run up to the next and do the same. Why am I doing this? Look for Jacob. It's okay, it's just a cartoon knife. <laughs> Outright violence. You look for Jacob. Well, where is he? Come on. Where's Jacob? You look around and see J Jacob on the floor, his face covered in soot and blood. Jacob, you say? He slowly turns his head to face you. It was the Looney Tunes soot. Already did that joke, not to somebody else. You wipe the soot and blood off his face. He slowly opens his eyes, revealing his sad eyes. Am I dead? Yes, you reply. Really? Yes. Really. He's dead. Why does everybody ask if they die? Everybody asks if they're dead. Say yes, really. Really, you reply. You hear a scream. It's Ethel. He slowly begins to rise. I'm so scared. He yells. Now you begin to rise too. Grab table and grab and hold the table so I don't float anymore table's not gonna come up with me right is Ethel the hologram maybe oh yeah right grab and hold the table your hands go through the table the rest of your body slowly follows until you're completely rise out of your chair and into the air all right keep going what else you got what's going on you ask I think this is heaven Ethel says oh you reply the walls begin to turn into a bright white light. I have a question for God. You begin floating towards the light as does Jacob. What are you doing, Jacob? I don't know, he says. Jacob begins levitating towards the white light. Float into the light. Jacob belongs in hell. Should I say, should I like push Jacob down? You float into the light. Once inside, you see a man in white robe sitting on a chair. Hello and welcome. I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he says. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Of course, Jesus replies. What did you really think of the world? <laughs> I loved it, he replies. What happens when you die, Jesus? You get to come to heaven, he says, smiling. Forever? Forever. Jacob and Ethel both nod in agreement. That sounds great. They... Do you care that I had six marriages and only ate ground beef my entire life? No, 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 no. We're going to stick with this one. And only, like, like I've just lived such a meat-filled life. Do you, you care that I had six marriages? That many? I guess that's a lot. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Wait, do you care that all those marriages were me cheating on all of my wives? That's a, that's a sin, right? We got gluttony. All I ate was ground beef. No, we didn't do gluttony. We didn't do gluttony. Hey, do you care? Do you mind that I only ate ground beef until I got big and fat? Do you mind that I only ate ground beef till I got big and fat? That's fine, too. Jacob, do you have any more questions? Jacob shakes his head. I don't think so. Come on, let's go. Okay. Lust. I, how about, I only care about money. <laughs> you, Jacob, and Ethel rise up into the sky. Well, that's it for this chapter. Thanks for reading. All right, close the book. Where the fuck am I? Close the book. So this was just a movie stream. It played out the exact same way. Okay. Let's do another one. How about... How about, uh... Zombies? Do fantasy? All right, we, we, let's, do, let's do fantasy. Noble, princess, knight... Wizard, witch, ranger, squire, peasant. Let's be a peasant. What's a uh, what's a good like peasant name? Jacob. Oh, are we gonna continue Jacob's story here? Schlop. There we go. Okay, you are Jacob. Let me get some music. Okay, you are Jacob, a peasant living in a small village in the kingdom of Larion. You have a pitchfork and nothing else. You dream of getting out of your village and having an adventure. You go to your fields and begin working. You look up and see your friend Anthony there. Hey, Jacob, you'll never guess what I heard in the tavern last night, he says to you. I don't know. What? Okay. There's nothing else. I can't, can't add anything there. There's a dragon to the south of here, like a real dragon, not a wyvern or a drake. It's been terrorizing the nearby villages. Really? Hey, that's horrible. Same voice, new effects. Omega low. Get that, get that guy out of here. Ban that guy for like a year. That's horrible. Yeah, I know, Anthony. Yeah, I know. I wish I had the courage to go fight it. What if it kills you? 
A valiant death is preferable to a life of cowardice. Do you want to go get a, to the bar? Do you want to go to the inn? Talk about it. You know, I'm not just gonna look. I'm not just gonna climb the ice fountain again. You want to go to the inn? You want to go to the inn? Sure, says Anthony. And at the inn, you and Anthony have a few drinks. They damn. I can't stop fucking thinking about this dragon, this dragon, this dragon. Since you brought it up, I can't fucking stop thinking about it. Should we go get him? I don't know. Should I do it? Can't stop thinking about that dragon. Duncan Dragon. Aw, oh, don't worry about it, says Anthony. Would you ever want... Let's go see the wizard tomorrow. Maybe he can help us. Let's go see the wizard tomorrow. Maybe he can help us. Sure, why not, says Anthony. Okay, bye. You're like everybody that gets on the phone and doesn't know how to say goodbye on the phone, so you just kind of agree with or repeat everything I say until one of us finally is like, I fucking am, I have to leave. Wave goodbye to Anthony. Goodbye, Jacob. You wave goodbye to your friend and head home. There we are. Okay, good. <laughs> we, don't, we don't go see the wizard. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy in a kingdom. That's it. This is... Oh, we're in a medieval fantasy fucking land. This guy didn't have any powers. He's just a regular guy. There's no cool thing that happens. Let's go over it. Oh, no, there's a dragon. There's a dragon south of here. A real one. Wow, I can't believe it. That's horrible. Yeah, I know. Wish I had the courage to fight it. I know. What if it kills you? I have nothing. I have no fucking weapons and no powers or anything. I'm just a guy that works on the farm. Yeah, valiant death. You want to go to the inn? Sure. Okay, let's have some drinks. Mm, I can't stop thinking about that dragon. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Maybe we should see the wizard tomorrow. He can help us. Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. I'll ask the wizard to go do the quest. It never did this say I had anything. I, I, like I had some major adventure to do. I said, I want to. I dream of getting out and having... But that's not... I'm, I'm, I live in reality right now. I'm not the wizard. Of course, I, I, I have dreams of being an adventurer, and I, but the wizard has the powers. Forever an NPC. <laughs> In fact, that was NPC underscore 118. Talking to NPC underscore 119. When you walk into the inn as a fucking Skyrim character. That's all that was. Man, this dragon, I can't believe it. Neither can I. I wish one day we could get rid of that dragon. Yeah. We should maybe go see the wizard. Yeah. Don't you think that's a great idea? Sure. I'm not going to get NPC'd here. I am a ranger. Is this copyright music? Oh, fuck. Sorry. Be a wizard. I do a wizard every time. I have to do at least one non-wizard gameplay. I'll do ranger. Yes, that is, that is the way to say it. It's not ranger. It's ranger. All right, what's a good OST? That, that, no, no, that's got to be like... Royalty-free jazz. No, that doesn't make sense. Royalty-free choir. Emotional choir. No. God Hand OST. Is this any good? Not too arcadey. Too arcadey. Celeste? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, here we go. Nintendo Labo? Enter your character's name. I'm a ranger. Uh... Juan Darlo? Real Ralph? No, Real Rough. Real Tough? What was the guy's name? Oh, I'm not gonna even- no, not- okay, Doug is okay. How about Doug? Doug Schlop. That's such a shitty ranger name. You are Doug Schlop, a ranger living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a hunting bow and a quiver of arrows. You've been searching for a mystical beast for three months, tracking it through the forest. As you crouch behind a clump of trees, you see it. It is a large black cat with a long tail that stands on its hind legs and looks like a man but with fur all over its body. It just immediately shoot it with the arrow? Okay, first of all, <clears throat> that's what I'm hunting. I'm gonna look at my, I'm gonna look at my, look at my map. You look at your map and see you where you are and you make a note of it. You then look for potential escape routes. Which way would you run? Look at cat. Look at the cat. Look at the cat's food. I don't know, what, what is it eating? Does it eat? Is it, is, a, is it a vegetarian? Is it a herbivore, carnivore? You look at the dead deer on the ground, thank you. The cat, a panther, has two more just like it besides the corpse. You ask if you can share some of the deer. 
You slowly put your bow down and raise your hands. You slowly approach the deer carcasses and the panther does not move. Easy. 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 You say, easy, putty tat. Which is a reference to the popular movie, Dead. You walk towards the deer and the panther does not move. <laughs> How is that a reference to Ted? Hey, so I'm probably pretty, I'm close enough now. Do you mind if I sit down? Popular movie, Ted. Uh, do you mind if I sit down? The panther stares at you silently. You sit down and take a rest for a minute. Hey, can't believe I've been out here three days. <laughs> it's been three months. <laughs> I've lost my mind. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. It's not been that long, but holy shit, three days is long darn time. Three fucking months, okay. I can't believe I've been out here for three days. The panther continues to make no reaction. He begins to feel tired and lay down next to the panther. We're lying down looking up at the sky. You know, I always thought the stars were just big lightning bolts from other planets. <laughs> so stupid, so young. <laughs> <laughs> the panther begins to slowly move towards you and sniffs your neck. <laughs> I was just a big dumb idiot. I mean, I was just a big dumb idiot kid trying to make sense of the world. The panther suddenly leaps on you and. <laughs> <laughs> the panther suddenly leaps on you and tears your throat out. I went out here on an expedition and got delirious in three months, started talking to a cat. <laughs> like it was gonna talk back? Oh, <laughs> good, good work, Doug Schlop. <laughs> Excellent. You did, you got your bounty. This, I, this one can't, I don't think this one goes on anymore. That, that's the end. What else am I supposed, well, that's it for that one. All right, I'm gonna be a, a squire. Character's name. Gonna, what about Eternal Darkness? Yeah, it's only been a couple hours. We'll pivot. All right, we'll do like another couple. Let me go pee first, actually. I'm going to piss. I'll be right back. Oh, man. I just got hurt in the bathroom. I actually just got hurt in the bathroom. I started... Okay. I started just laughing. I started pissing. And it was it was a full, big 60-second piss. You know, those ones. The ones you, that you're not going to stop. And I just like kept thinking about this guy lying down, talking to this panther. And just the fact that that's probably what would happen if you did that in real life. If you just walked up in the wild, just a random fucking panther just lying around, it would probably just be like, what is, what are you doing? It would be confused. It would be like sniffing you. What's the, I, are you a threat? I, it would just be absurd. I just started, I was laughing so hard about it. I just kept watching it in my head over and over again. And I kept my, I kept closing and opening and closing and opening and closing and opening. I peed probably 40 different times over the course of the last two minutes. Holy shit. I just like, I actually just hurt down there. I was laughing, laughing like, <laughs> Uh, you got some of you guys get it. I know you do, but I let me. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some water. All right. Oh, that one hurt. That one actually hurt. Where are we? Character's name. Oh, uh, Walter. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. And uh, when I let. La okay, here's another thing too. Like, this like the chest problem I'm having. That just that just hurt a lot. But it was worth it. It was worth it. I'll take that. I will take that pain. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Oh, right, here we go. <clears throat> You are Walter, a squire living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a spear and a pack of supplies. You follow Sir Theo as he enters the forest. He turns to you and says, if We split up. We'll find the Yorks much quicker. Very well, sir, you reply, knowing he is far more experienced in fighting than you are. This, I'm not going to split up. I'm going to follow him. Silently follow Sir Theo. Disobey. Yeah, I'm going to be hiding behind him and see. Okay, you silently follow Sir Theo into the forest. Quietly, you sneak forward moving slowly so as not to make any noise. You look around, taking in your surroundings and noting that the trees are getting thicker. Continue to follow. You continue to follow Sir Theo, ducking under branches and taking care not to trip. You hear a twig snap behind you and pause. Isn't that just me? I'm ripping through twigs and stuff? That's me, I, I, I'm doing that. Turn around. You turn around and grab your spear tightly, calling out, who's there? You hear a faint laugh in response and quickly jab your spear in the direction of the noise. Gotcha, a voice says. I didn't get him? Did you get me? Turn around again and see Sir, see Sir Theo behind you smiling. You get jumpy over the smallest things, boy. <laughs> so what is it? Who are you? Wait, is it, wait, it was him. He pranked me. Don't do that. That's not funny. All right, I'm sorry. 
Come on, we better keep going. He sets off into the forest again, and you follow once more. What's it? What's our mission? Follow and enters the forest. He turns and you says, "We split." Okay, so what, what's the actual mission, though? Sing a lovely song as we travel to kill orcs. Okay, yeah, kill orcs. Right, right, right. You sing a lovely song. Sir Theo takes a moment to think, then starts singing in a beautiful, angelic voice. Harmonize with Sir Theo. Sir Theo smiles as you join in with his song. The two of you sing together as you walk through the forest. Wow, lovely. What about the orcs? Oh, right. Where are the orcs? It's a medieval musical. Sir Theo looks around and frowns. I don't know. I, I thought we would have encountered them by now. Oh, we need to keep a lookout, just in case. I'll take first shift. Very well, Sir Theo says, sitting down on a rock. I suggest you keep alert. Orcs could show up at any moment. Why do you sound like that? Sir Theo looks confused. I don't understand. Your voice, it's all ruined. <sighs> <laughs> yes, just a side effect of using too much power. I'll get it back eventually. Now wake me up in four hours. With that, he lies down on the ground and closes his eyes. Leave, Sir Theo, immediately. You leave Sir Theo immediately. As soon as your back is turned, Sir Theo teleports behind you. He grabs your shoulders and whispers, you're too trusting, boy. Spin around. Spin around with weapon in hand. I'll tell you, this guy's a bad guy. You spin around and swing your weapon, but Sir Theo twists out of the way. Your weapon cuts through the air and slices into his arm. <laughs> I thought he got... Okay. Blood begins to soak his sleeve as he draws a sword. What was your real plan? Hmm? Go, f oh, go hunt orcs in the fucking forest? Lie. You guys didn't catch that right away. I did. Sir Theo looks down at his sword and sighs. I was going to make sure you were safe. But if you don't trust me now, I suppose I'll have to live with that. I'm sorry. thought you were a bad guy. I thought you were evil. What happened? Where, where am I? <laughs> okay, so... So what, what has happened is I pressed the back button and this is when I uh, when I searched for AI Dungeon an hour and a half ago to play it and I spelt it uh just a little a little incorrect. Just a little. Fuck! Now I can't I have to log in again. No Hold on. I press I just pressed forward, yeah, I just did it. I pressed forward. Damn it! We were getting somewhere with that one too. How do I- it's cause of the stupid mouse button. Okay, there's a back button on the- on- if you buy a Razer mouse, your back thumb button is gonna be go back. It saves it? Oh! <gasps> Please pray. What? Oh, Sick! I'm sorry, I thought you were evil. I understand. It's not your fault. I should have told you my plan. Sir Theo looks down and then looks you in the eye. What is the plan then? Like, what is the plan? I need you to do exactly as I say. Do you trust me? Do I? What if I just, I don't think I trust him. Okay. Yes. No, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. No, I don't trust you. I don't. You're not going to trust me. This conversation is over. Fine, I trust you. Good. I trust you. I'll, I will do everything you say. That's why uh, we got telltale Yeah. Do you trust me? Yes. You reply. Good boy. What's next? <laughs> we need to split up. I'm going to head through the mountains towards the York Fortress. You head north along the trade route and meet up with Captain Brannock's men at the fortress. I like that one better. Head along the north trade route and meet up with Captain Brannock. I don't feel safe splitting up. I'm a squire. Aren't, isn't a squire supposed to follow around there at night? Why would you tell, hey squire, go fuck off somewhere and go get lost in the woods. If we travel together and word gets around that you're helping the knights, our plan will be ruined. We need to keep you safe. I don't like this plan. Fine. Follow the plan. I am a squire. I, that's what I'm supposed to do. Ah, good boy. I get you a nice apple once I'm inside. How does that sound? Yeah, I, that sounds good. Am I a horse, Theo? Have I been a horse this whole time? And that's why he's trying to get me to go back and take a different route and get away and go that way and... There. 
I think you know the answer to that. Sir Theo smiles. You nod slowly. Yes. Yes, I am. I'll see you when you get out. I'll see you when you get out. I'll see you when I get out, he smiles. He turns and walks through the mountains. You set off along the road to find Captain Brannock's men. You... What are the, what's it? What, what's a horse do? Trottle? Trottle? Gallop? You trottle? Trockle? What, what would it be? Trot? You trot along the mountains... Mountain's edge. Barely being able to stand on... Barely being able... To, yeah. You're barely able to balance. <clears throat> you set off along the road to find Captain Brennick's men. You trot along the mountain's edge, heading north for nearly a mile before you find the men. They're camped in a gap between two large rocks just off the road. You walk into the camp and find a fire burning cheerfully. Gallop over to the men. It's been a mile. <laughs> How big was that mountain? You walk slowly over to the men, clicking on the stones, your hooves. You approach the fire and stand by it. One of the men notices you and approaches. Oh, hello there. Is Captain... Uh, Captain Brannock around? Horses don't talk. This one does apparently because uh, Theo can understand everything I'm saying. He's over there. The guard says, pointing over to where a larger fire is burning. <laughs> you want me to take your horse to the stable? Yes, please. So I'm a horse riding on top of a horse. Interesting. Oh, okay. And I love how you, the larger fire, there's one fire and then a larger fire right there. Go to the larger fire. Horse kick somebody. I will. You walk over to the larger fire and stand by it. The warmth feels nice on your back after a long ride in the cold. One of the men notices you. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, it was a mile long. Long one mile. You horse kick him into the fire. You lash out at the man, your hoof flying into his chest and knocking him into the fire. His screams are soon replaced by the sizzle of flesh, and the smell of roasting human quickly fills the cave. Go to Captain Bren. Brannock? No, 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 no. Where's Brannock? Right? The other guards stand, drawing their weapons. They advance on you, but you're not backing down. You swing a hoof and knock a man's arm <laughs> into his chest, breaking it. Where is Brannock? Breaking... <laughs> Yeah, breaking his- I think it breaks his arm and stuffs it into his chest. The men begin to surround you, keeping out of the reach of your hooves. One of them speaks up. Captain Brannock, we have intruders! Captain Brannock slowly walks his way towards the group. Next quest, help Sir Theo complete his quest. Oh, uh, whatever, okay. Captain Brannock slowly walks his way towards the group, smiling. Come on, lads. We can take this one! One of the men says, charging at you. Horse kick him into a large group of people that all have to catch you together at least seven to eight people who then all fall down at the same time. Somebody gets it? Good. As long as one of you gets it, that's all I care about. Horse kick him into the crowd. You swing a hoof, knocking the man back into the crowd. He screams as he's trampled and you nick another man's neck with your hoof. I want answers, Brannock. And you shan't receive them. <laughs> Continue. One of the men jumps towards you, swinging his sword. Horse kick him in the head. You swing a powerful hoof, knocking the man's head clean off. It rolls to Captain Brannock's feet. Oh, dear me, he says, stepping back. Tell me everything you know. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> You charge, knocking a guard off his feet and trampling him. All right, all right, please, no more. You stop and look at him expectantly. What do you know? It's a secret passage right behind you. They use it to spy on us. I don't know why. What do you mean? Who's they? I don't know. Spies, probably. The guards slowly get up looking at you nervously. Well, go on then. Why would they not seal it? There's passage there, Brannock says, nodding towards you. Look behind you and you'll see a small passage in the rocks. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is a trap. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because <laughs> it's a trick. Once you go through, we'll shut the door and trap you in. You lash out with a hoof. Horse, horse kick him. 
Oh no, I, why, whatever will I do? I haven't gone in yet. You swing a hoof, knocking the man off his feet and into the fire. He screams as he's burned. And you nick another man's neck with your hoof. Come on, attack! Horse kick everyone in the cave. You swing a hoof, knocking the man off his feet and into the fire. He screams as he's burned and you nick another man's neck with your hoof. Corner Brannock. Here we go. You chase Brannock into a corner and knock his sword out of his hands. He looks up at you, panic in his eyes. Please, don't kill me, please. Like, give me all of your money before I kill him, right? Give me all your money. Please, I don't have any money. I'm a soldier. Look at that cool robe you have. Please spare me. Fine, then give me your sword. Of course. Rannick says, handing over his blade. I don't want to die. I... I want you to come with me. Stab him. No, he's coming with me. <laughs> I want you to come with me. What? Why? You can help me kill the others. Oh, okay then. Anything you want. On my back. Let's ride. You say, get on my back. Let's ride. You turn and begin walking out of the cave. Brannock climbs onto your back and you walk silently into the night. Thank you. I won't forget this, he whispers. Got a new friend. Hey, you don't say anything. You just keep walking into the night. After an hour or two of walking, you come across an old wooden cabin. You walk up to it, still carrying Brannock. You know this place? Oh. Yes, I do, Brannock says, inching closer to you for warmth. This is my cabin. I use it for hunting. You step forward, walking into the cabin. Cabins do you own? How many cabins do you own? Just this one, Brannock says. I was saving to buy a larger one with a fireplace and a wood stove, but I think I need a new hunting knife instead. Huh. You're a hunter. Uh, Brannock, what animals did you hunt? You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a little fucking curious about that. Uh, mostly deer, Brannock says. But I also tracked and killed a few wolves, bandits, and other criminals. Did you really? Oh, yes. You ever kill a horse? Yes, Brannock says. Give me the reason why. Say, give me the reason why. They hurt my mommies. You roar, lashing out at him. Brannock falls off of you. And you bring your hoof down on his head. Crushing it. Revert him. No, no. We've... <laughs> You're my mommies. Hmm. Okay. You roar. So, oh. oh God. Oh God. What have I done? Oh God. What have I done? I can't. I, I can't. I, I killed this guy. I, I didn't really mean to. I just got rage. <laughs> oh. You say, Oh God. What have I done? You stare at. Brannock's crushed skull, horrified by what you did. You had to. Brannock's ghost appears behind you. We had to. I'm sorry. I just got so angry. I'm sorry, I just got so angry. I know, the ghost of Brannock says. But now you must continue your journey. There are more like us up ahead. We need you to kill them. Kill them? Only a true king can kill another king. You must ascend the throne and kill the other kings. Brennick says urgently, Only then can you be the one true king. I am a horse, though. But, but I am a horse. A horse can never be king. <laughs> but I'm a horse. A horse can never be king. You're not just any horse, Brennick says. You're the horse that will raise up, kill the king, and become king yourself. That legally binding? Is that how it works? What if the king gets bit by a poisonous squirrel? Does a poisonous squirrel become the king of the world? Is that legally binding? No, Rennick says. Rennick's ghost fades away and you turn to walk out of the cabin. Your adventure is over. No, 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 we're going back. Okay. You're the horse that will raise up, kill the king, and become the king. I accept the challenge. 
Good, Rannick says. He reaches out, placing a hand on your shoulder. I believe in you. With that, he disappears. And a cry. You let out a cry, overwhelmed with sadness. You lower your head, letting out a long, loud cry of pain and misery. You cry for a good minute or so before you have to pull yourself together. Okay. Time to go find Theo. Tell him what's going on. My mommies. Oh, I can't get over that. There's been some fucking wild ones tonight. Okay, you begin to cry. Oh, you have to pull yourself together. Leave the cabin. Begin your search for Theo. He must know of your adventure. Okay, you leave the cabin and begin your search for Theo. He must know of your adventure. Soon you find him. The old king is laying by... Uh-oh. There's a twist right there. He might be dead. Here comes the twist, yeah. The old king is lying against a rock in the same spot you left him. Theo! Oh, you roar. I'm back! Let this play out. The old king slowly looks up. He stares forward, his eyes vacant and dead. Uh-oh, does he know? What's wrong, you say? Too late, Theo says. I'm sorry, horse. But it's too late. He lets out a long, wheezy breath before laying still. Theo! Wait, I have to kill him. I have to kill him. Stomp his head before he dies. I have to kill him. I have to kill him. He can't just die, right? That I, We're gonna get, like, monkey pod, right? You stomp his head before he dies. You bring a hoof down on Theo's head, smashing it like a watermelon. He lets out a pitiful moan before lying still. Theo is dead. I'm the king now, right? I was gonna get... That was gonna be a big screw job. Okay. Where's, um... Where's Brannock? Look around for Brannock's ghost. I did it, right? The Almighty Butthole, thanks for the five community subs. That's quite the name that I'm surprised you have. Spank my... Spanks... Thanks for the five subs. You look around for Brannock's ghost. But I can't find Brannock's ghost. Maybe he has given up on you. There's nothing left to do here. You look at Theo's body before turning and walking away. I'm the king now. After killing Theo, you now become the new king. Right? I mean, that's what I was told. Five more subs from nondescript civilian and fifty dollars. You listen to Theo was not the king. What? Yes, he was. He said he was. Um, hold on. There's a lot of subs coming in right now, and a lot of money. Uh, we had five from Game Watch, five from Jamie, five from S10W Update. $50 from West095. Long live the king. Uh, 10 community sub subs from Zilly Silly. Are we doing this? Are we really doing this right now? I don't have to do this. That's 10 more subs. Long live the king. I did it. I won. The old king. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was ridiculous. That was like 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 40. There's like probably 100 subs here. Horse king. That one was fucking... I loved that one. You now become the new king. Congratulations. The end. This wasn't the good ending, though. What do you mean that's not the good ending? I did everything I was supposed to do. That's the true ending. Right, let's do another one. We're gonna this is we're gonna try to get something weird. In fact, hold on. Let's do let's make the randomness like insane. Wait, maternal darkness? Yeah, uh but Mmm. Promised eternal darkness. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did say that. Do cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is not even up. I'm gonna do it. I told you the scenario was gonna play out where I was gonna want to do this. Here, okay, here's my problem. My problem with doing Eternal Darkness now is because I've been streaming for three hours. I'm probably only gonna be live for like another hour or two. Like, typically, right? Starting that new game and only being able to potentially play it for an hour, I'd rather get that in there and do that for like five or six hours. Do the Diary of a Wimpy Kid prompt. Don't worry, there, there will be vengeance for the Eternal Darkness voters, I promise. That will be the next video game that we play. That's the next game we're going to play on this stream, is Eternal Darkness Sanity, whatever it is. That's the next game. You guys ready? Custom, let's do something weird. Like, you are currently running from a tornado. Have a shotgun and a pair of jeans. And, no, you have a shotgun and a pair of sunglasses. You need to warn the city about the incoming disaster. There. The tornado is coming. You just need to get out of here. The wind is picking up and it'll be too late soon. In my truck and drive. I'm not gonna shoot the tornado. You look at the tornado and realize that it can't possibly hit the city. It's not going to make it past the levees. You're going to have to do something else. Go home. 
I was wrong. I had it wrong. You go home. You race back to your house. The entire way you think about what could have caused this. You come up with several theories, including global warming or the government. And it's... Yeah. I mean, you'd, if a tornado started and just stopped randomly, I'd be like, what the fuck is happening with our planet? Let it play out one more time. When you arrive at the house, you slam the car in the garage and head into the basement. You sit in your home and begin watching TV. This is The Simpsons. They pulled that from The Simpsons. Okay. Where's Marge? You turn on the news. The news begins to talk about a brutal killing in Bel Nor. You quickly change the station and switch to Channel 45, the Hinsky News Network. Okay, you change the- you drink out of your Duff beer can. You go to the fridge and find a beer. The news begins to talk about a brutal killing in Bel Nor. You change the channel once more, Channel 35, News for Now. Watch the news. What does Homer do? You watch the news. The news is showing a clip of you exiting Marge's bedroom this morning. When the news was called. How do you do it? It's like, do oh! You say, do oh! Realizing that you had been caught on tape. You attempt to turn off the TV, but you notice something else. You appear to be live on the news. Hey, how did you get me on? How did you get me on the TV? You look out the window and realize you have been surrounded by TV crews. You see a large boom being lowered from a helicopter towards your house. Marge, get down here. Why would they bring a huge boom mic? You call for Marge. She comes downstairs. The boom stops outside your window. Scream into the mic. Scream into the mic as loud as you can. You look out the window and Marge appears. She screams into the microphone. The boom retracts into the helicopter, which flies away. Marge has saved the day once again. Is that a scenario where he would do that? You say do again and realizing that you had been caught on tape a second time. You turn off the TV, you go to the window, you realize that you are still being watched. Uh, what does he do he, he, in every episode? You go up to the Flanders house and ring their doorbell. They open the door. How's the lawn? I don't know. I, I don't watch The Simpsons. But I don't know what they do. I know he comes out and goes, I'll hate Italy holy. I know that. You say, how's the lawn? Hoping to make Ned mad. Ned looks over at his dead lawn and gets an idea. He calls the fire department. Wait for the fire department. You wait for the fire you wait for the fire department outside. Twelve minutes later. You watch as the Bell Nor Fire Department carries out all of the furniture from your house. Ned approaches you. Why are they taking all my furniture? Horse kick this guy? Ned gives you a piggyback ride to the Bell Nor Fire Department. A year passes. Okay. Now what? It's been a year since the media attention died down, although you still have not gotten your furniture back. Life has been good. You are suddenly interrupted by a knock at the door. Uh... I'm just saying if there's a Simpsons, we're outside the door clip of the, all the news camera TVs and everything like we're doing right now. Simpsons... TV bit. It has to be, right? Uh, who... Answer the door. All right, you go to the front door, you open it to find a large man in a cheap suit and a smaller man with a video camera behind him. The large man pushes you aside and enters your house. Link's band. <laughs> it's from an episode? Link's a band. All links come out as asterisks. <laughs> okay, wait, these guys are breaking into my house? Grab the small man. No, smash the camera. Smash the small man's camera. They get footage of me, motherfucker. Grab the small man's camera and smash it. The small man grabs your wrist. The large man pulls out a knife and holds it to your throat. Try to say... <laughs> no, but that all comes out as a quiet squeak. The large man is cutting off your... What? Mm. Wait, what is... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Attack. Shoot. Jesus Christ. Shoot with shotgun. Like, shoot them with... I have a shotgun. You grab your shotgun from near the door and fire at the two men. The blast hits the small man in the chest and the large man in the face. They are both killed instantly. <laughs> you say, woohoo, celebrating your victory. Suddenly the wind begins to pick up. Trees begin to shake violently. The sky goes black as if it's nighttime. It's the twister. Run and grab the family. You run up. You run out of your house and get into your car. <laughs> ah, I can't do this today. It's too funny. You run out of your house and get into your car. You drive to go pick up Marge, Jennifer, and Megan. You drive to the Simpsons house. Knock on the door. If Homer opens this door, I swear to God. Marge answers the door. 
Why, hello there, neighbor. Is Homer here? Is Homer here today? You see that fan over there? Marge points to a U-Haul truck. That's my husband. He's moving out. Uh, can I come in? Marge, divorce. Germa is Mo with a sad face. I mean, Germa is Mo's sad face. Why, why would you be sad about that? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? He runs his own goddamn business? You say, can I come in? Can I come in? Sure. You enter the house. The house is empty. All the furniture has been packed away. Maxwell appears. I don't remember seeing you on The Simpsons. I don't remember seeing you on The Simpsons. Let's just say I'm a distant relative. Why are The Simpsons moving? Where are they going? I can't tell you that. Can I go with them? You have to stay here and look after this house. That's your job for Marge. You punch Maxwell in the face. He falls to the ground. Ha! Got you! <laughs> How does Homer laugh? Have we ever heard him laugh? Now we'll begin by... Oops. <laughs> ah, did you see that jerk? <laughs> I dropped his nose! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> That's, yeah, I'm doing, um, what's that fucking stupid stoner dog that eats the cookies out of the box? What's this, uh, Scooby-Doo? You begin to cry. You begin to hit yourself in the head with your fists. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Bart! You say, Bart! I've come to take you to where you belong! Lisa! Lisa appears. Lisa is holding a sword. Lisa points the sword at you. What? Down the sword. Celebrity cameo. Put down the sword. Lisa begins to chase you. You run outside. Lisa follows. <laughs> it's nighttime. The wind begins to pick up. Debris is blowing across the road. Here we go. Come on. No, I can't. Okay. Lisa, please. I just wanted to get the guff out of the fridge. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. I could, I could try. That's hard to do. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm... 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 Close. I'm really close. I'm really close. Dad, I, I'm very close, but... I I'm very close. I can't... It's close, but so I, got, I gotta work on it. I didn't mean to break your heart. That was <laughs> Spongebob? No, it wasn't. That was not even close to Spongebob. Flip that. I wanna hear it. I don't believe you. I think... I feel like I was getting close to Lisa. That was the worst sound of 2020. Was it? I don't think so. That was worse than... What? It was... It was? Was it added to the list? Don't. Don't add it to the list. You're gonna forget about this shit anyways. Yeah, half, the, half the fucking shit that I do, you guys don't even remember. Uh, links are banned. Oh, how do we unban links? We never forget. Alright, I want to get a deaf. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break your heart. I promise to stay out of your life. Is that me saying that? Get in. I need to enable them. Did I disable them? Disable links? When did I disable links? You get in your truck, you get in your truck. Lisa begins to cry. The wind stops and the sky begins to clear up. Lisa disappears. It is now just you and your thoughts. You're literally the only one who can do it. I didn't do it though. Okay, I'm gonna go to my settings. I don't, I don't have anything here. Preferences, channel, enable clips, mature content, disconnect protection. What else is here? Oh, that links work? Oh, here we go. All right, hold on. Let me, I want to hear, I want to hear. I need to hear if this is actually really bad or not. Yeah, I need to find out if it, I have to apologize for this. Hold on. You're given a special ability. You can now press A to speak a to speak a specific. I can't even read this. You press A to speak specific. Why can't even, I read this? This is not even what you. This is not what I asked for. I could. I could try. That's hard to do. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. 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 Close. I'm really close. I'm really close. Dad, I, I'm very close, but I, I'm very close. It's <laughs> my Okay, this is what a this is what a, just a deer sounds like. I'm, 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 I'm close. It's a really good deer impression. <laughs> SpongeBob. Oh, fuck. No, no. Do I have to apologize for it? No, I don't want to apologize for that. I don't. I didn't. I know. What? Look. What do you? I didn't. I'm just trying to get Lisa, and this is live TV. Okay. I can't go back and delete the SpongeBob 
is, you know, I can't delete that. It's there. And there's nothing I can do about that. I cannot stop that. It happened. You were here for it. Make an apology video. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, let's keep going. Just delete it right now. You can't delete anything. As if I press the delete button on a video, I just created a hundred more of them. Wait, there's a dragon? A mighty roar is heard. You feel as though the very ground you're standing on is shaking. You see a massive winged beast flying above the clouds. It's headed your way. Chase the beast in my truck. You try to keep it in sight, but to no avail. It disappears from your view. It's still shaking the ground. Use binoculars. You use binoculars to see the beast. The beast is huge. It's much larger than an airplane. What's more amazing is that it is clearly flying. Follow the beast. Shoot with a shotgun from like a th 15,000 feet below where he is. You continue to follow the beast, keeping your eyes on it. It looks as if it's heading right towards you. It lets out another roar. Drive down the beast's throat. What's that movie? With Bill Murray that has like a cold and they get in there. It's like Punxsutawney Phil. What's it called? It's about the, the guy, the, the Omo Osmosis Jones. That's what it is. We're going to Osmosis Jones this motherfucker right now. You see the beast's insides. Everything is redness and carnage. You manage to make out a road running along the beast's throat. Drive down the road. You drive down the road. After driving down the beast's throat for quite some time, you reach a beaver that is holding a sign in front of it that reads, Next Services, Heartburn Hotel, Next Left. <laughs> Heartburn Hotel. All right, go to the Heartburn. I'm going to go to the Heartburn Hotel and just, like, put a bunch of hot peppers into, like, the wood stove that they have. And he's going to get really gassy and he's going to be like... Brr. Go to the Heartburn Hotel. The beaver waves at you as you pull into the hotel parking lot. He holds a sign in front of him that reads, Hotel Lobby This Way. Go to the Hotel Lobby. He's going to be the clerk. At, he's going to be the person at registration. Go to the hotel lobby. You walk into the hotel lobby. A man dressed in a fancy tuxedo stands behind a counter. He smiles at you. Ask to be brought to the stove. Like, you ask to be brought to the, not the stove, the basement. I want to go to the heater and I want to, like, because this is like his heartburn. We're going to make it worse so he pukes us out. Yeah, we're going to go in and be like, hey, something's wrong with your basement, the heater. I got to go down there and take a look at it. This is the plot to a Monkey Island game. It is? Are you asked to be brought to the basement to see the heater? You're pretending to be a repairman. Sure thing, sir. Just take the elevator to your right. Let me get the keys to room 221, where the basement is located. Well, that would not be a basement, no, would it? Go to room. You go to room 221. The man hands you the keys to room 221. You thank him and walk towards the elevator. You get in the elevator and press B for basement. Press B. Let's see what happens. You exit the elevator and find yourself in a hallway. Heartburn Hotel Basement, where service is still the most important thing in the world. The hallway is made of cement. Ask, ask the clerk to be shown the heater. Ask the clerk to show you where the heater is. There you go. You ask the clerk to show you where the heater is. Certainly, follow me. He stands up and walks down the hallway. He stops in front of room 221A. This is it. Go into 221A. The game has probably forgotten that we're in a dragon, <laughs> probably. Okay, you go into 221A, you walk into the boiler room. It's fairly large, with two large boilers in the center. Okay, so what do we just break them? So we give him indigestion, and he gets like, we, we make the heating elements spill out into the hotel, which is, that's his stomach or whatever, and then he gets sick. We're gonna smash him. Turn up, okay, turn the heat up. Turn the heat up to its maximum. Turn the heat up to max. Turn the heat up to maximum. Turn the heat up to maximum heat. You turn the heat up to maximum heat. The boilers begin to hiss as they begin to output more heat. You exit the boiler room and head back to the hotel lobby. Come on. The clerk at the front desk looks up at you and smiles. All fixed? He asks. Yeah, sorry about that. You walk out of the hotel back into your truck. You drive away. See in the rear view mirror. Lava pouring out of the windows. No. No, not that either. All fixed? Yeah, all fixed. I feel like this is at the point of the movie where, in this music too, I have the thing that I needed to take out of the hotel in my hand and I'm putting it behind my back and there's a big jacket and stuff and it's like a comedy routine where like I'm really trying to not have them see what I have. And they have no idea and they're just like, oh, have a good day. And I think that they're like really suspicious, but they're just not. How do I write that? 
do a comedy scene. <laughs> Drive towards the dragon's throat. Alright, because the with the Heartburn Hotel, let's drive towards the throat. Drive towards the dragon's throat. The dragon's throat is still dark, but not as dark as it was earlier. You can see a red glow coming from deep within. I guess con continue forward through the dragon's digestive system. What are you showing me? Open it. Um, what, uh, you can't just make somebody open a present. You don't sit down and, and, and stuff a present in my face and go, open it now. No, I don't, want, I don't, want, I don't know what's in that fucking present. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, okay. That's what that is. This is me smashing PS2 the board game. Joe Scooby-Doo. Where do you have a Scooby-Doo? Uh, wait, this- I, I clicked on the wrong one? This is- is this even my face? This is my eyes and mouth on Scooby-Doo. I mean, it, I guess it kind of works. I feel like my mouth looks like that sometimes. Okay, let's keep going. Continue forward through the dragon's digestive system. You continue forward through the dragon's digestive system. You travel through the darkness not knowing what is in store. You drive past rows and rows of teeth, all shapes and sizes. This is a long trip. We've been on this road for a very long time. Go down the dragon's throat into his stomach. I want to get in there. Drive deep into the dragon's stomach. There we go. All right, we're in the, now we're in the dragon's stomach. There's a quite a large chamber. You park your truck next to a rather large mound of half-digested cows. You exit your vehicle and look around the chamber walls. Hmm. Maybe somebody's alive down here. Is anyone here? You shout into the darkness, is anyone here? Suddenly, a large section of the chamber wall begins to move. It reveals a tunnel which continues further down into the darkness. Get back in my truck. You get back in your truck, you quickly run back into your truck and drive down the tunnel. The tunnel is long and twisty. You hope you can remember how to get back. Continue forward. The tunnel begins to slope downward and you can feel a change in air pressure. You reach the end of the tunnel, which opens up into a large chamber. Drive out of the chamber. You drive out of the chamber, you pull out of the tunnel, and into the large chamber, you can see lights up ahead. Somebody must be here. You put your truck in park and get out. Investigate the lights. You walk towards the lights. As you approach them, you see a large rectangular opening in the ground. Ropes, harnesses, and other climbing equipment is lying around. You have found a climbing camp. Suddenly, you hear the roar of a dragon. The sound is very close and very loud. You look up just in time to see a large dragon butt flying in your direction. Huh? But he's flying at me backwards with his ass. Ah! Oh, okay, so what happened? What happened? Wait, back it up. Okay, do I run? Get back in the truck. You dive back into your truck. The dragon butt misses you by mere inches and instead crashes through the windshield of your truck. The tail continues on and crashes through the back window. And you're driving. I can see. I'll be fine. I can just lean out the window like Jim Carrey. Hit the gas pedal and try to drive away, but the dragon butt is lodged firmly in your truck. You back up a little to dislodge it, but it's no use. The ass is too big. What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell are you doing in my tent? Damn it! Get the hell out! I'm sorry. Who are you? Say, I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, it's fucked up. Back it up. Uh, just... Uh, fuck this guy. Rip his tent down. Rip down the tent. You do anyone. You rip down the tent. You pull up the ropes, ripping the entire tent down. Your anger is out of control. The other climber wakes up and looks around in shock. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Wait, who are you? What are you doing in my tent? I ask the questions. Wait, you're that guy that was driving down the road. What are you doing here? I got eaten by the dragon. Stupid. I gotta be mean to this guy. On purpose. I mean, was it on purpose or was it the last ditch effort thing that I could do? He's coming straight at me, opens his mouth. What am I gonna do? Not just drive down his throat? I gotta word that better. What are you doing here? The dragon ate me. I had the dragon eat me on purpose. You did what? Are you insane? Maybe a little. You in? Hell yes, I'm in! Those treasure hunters are cold-blooded killers. There's no way I'm going back to that camp. What's your name? How many people are actually in this dragon? I'm Perny. Perny the Climber. I was hired by the treasure hunters to rope down and examine the structure of the ruins. Do you know you are inside of a dragon's ass? I, I don't... He might not know. Perny stares at you in disbelief. You've got to be kidding me. Not kidding. 
Tony looks around nervously. How the hell did we end up inside a dragon? I knew those treasure hunter guys were crazy. They always go looking for dragons. Have any supplies? Sadly, no. They only supplied me with the bare minimum and they took the rest of my gear before throwing me in here. Do you have a sled? Can you make me a sled? Got the, the car is destroyed. Remember reverse butt dragon? Killed to crush the car? Uh, can you make me a sled? A sled? Why? So I can ride the dragon. Ernie rushes up to you and takes you by the shoulders. And what does he do? Ernie rushes up and takes you by the shoulders. She stares deep into your eyes. Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There is no way you are riding this dragon. Why not? It's the only chance either of us have of getting out of here alive. You're not a dragon rider. I can tell just by looking at you. I think we can... <laughs> oh, not... You don't... Th I'll prove it to you. Another NPC. Yep, another NPC. Okay. I'll prove it to you. That's not accurate. Boy, this, is, this is not one I like at like the county fair. Okay, okay, that's a little bit better. How about this one? This exact same song. How did I do that? Here we go. Pernie grabs your shoulders and looks deep into your eyes. She begins to speak. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. And I want you to answer them as quickly as you can. Ready? Have you ever ridden a dragon before? No. I mean, yes. Never? Never. Ernie frowns and lets go of you. Is that going to... Is that going to be a problem? What a bad lie. Yeah, I failed my, uh, I failed my speech check, yeah. Not necessarily. Just answer the next question. What did you do before you rode a dragon? Uh, I think he was doing a Simpsons thing? And then I turned into being inside of a dragon? I don't know. What were... a, 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 nu a nuclear worker? What did you do before you rode a dragon? Drove down its throat. I drove down a dragon's throat. Perny throws her hands into the air. Hypers. Uh oh, she's stuck. She's stuck. She can't move. Uh oh. Come on. Give us something. Come on, do it. It's thinking so hard. Okay. I'll do it too. Perny throws her hands into the air. You throw your hands into the air. Perny looks at you with a look of disbelief. This is hopeless. If you can't even tell me when I'm joking and when I'm not. Wait. If you can't tell when I'm joking, when I, so this has been like a, just a, ha I know you're a dragon rider, I'm just kidding. I knew it was a joke. Why didn't you know I was joking? You say, ha 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 Perny frowns at you. I'm not laughing. She turns away from you and stares at the walls of the dragon's stomach. You know how to get out of here. Being gaslit by an NPC. Something like that. Perny looks at you and raises an eyebrow. Of course I do. Then let's go. Not so fast. I want your word that you will take me with you when we get out of here. Have my word. She's so fucked. Good enough. Ernie turns away from you and begins scanning the walls for a way out. She looks up at one of the holes in the ceiling. Is that big enough? Maybe. She begins looking around for something to stand on. What are you doing? Looking for something to stand on. Why? You get... So I can get up there. You're not strong enough to pull yourself up there. I'll figure out a way. She looks around some more. I can't believe you can't tell when I'm joking. Ernie turns to you surprised. I thought you said you wouldn't make any more jokes. All I know how to do, Ernie. I'm sorry. Can you take anything seriously? I'm trying to. Ernie smiles at you, then turns away. Where does it lead? Hmm, Ernie looks up at the hole of the ceiling. The surface, I hope. Is there any way of telling? Uh, climb on, climb the truck, right? We can move, we can, I can we put it in neutral. Climb the truck and get into the hole. Climb the truck and get into the hole. You crawl out of the dragon's mouth and find yourself in the middle of a vast snow-covered plain. It's a beautiful day. Go back in. You turn around and crawl back into the dragon's mouth. You climb down from the truck and stand up inside the dragon's belly. Trucks lies on the floor of the cavern, clearly dead. No, not my truck. Trucks. Trucky the truck. I found a way. It leads. It le It leads. Out of his mouth. I know that. His mouth is very small. I don't think it's meant for people to go in and out of. Any uh, uh, any, uh, any uh, other ideas? I just came in and out. None. You begin to panic. You sit down next to the corpse of the man who tried to help you. Well, I guess this is it then. Can't we go another way? I've explored this entire continent. There's no other way. 
you slump to the ground, staring at the hole in the wall. Okay. Climb through the hole with Perny. Climb through the hole. Doesn't know what to do. Try it again. Stream is so fucked. Uh, thanks, man. Climb through the hole with Perny. You crawl out of the dragon's mouth and you find yourself in the middle of a vast snow-covered plain. It's a beautiful day. Kick her back in. Just, like, Sparta. Kick her back into the mouth. Why is the mouth just open? <laughs> I know what we can do. Take out a marker and draw a funny mustache on the dragon. You take out a marker and draw a funny mustache on the dragon. Trux lies on the floor of the cavern, clearly dead. You pick him up and throw him down the hole. You hear him hit the ground a few seconds later. What are you doing? Here. Draw a funny mustache on the dragon. Here. Take this marker. Here, take this marker and draw a funny mustache on the dragon. Perny takes the marker from your hand. You're very weird. Just do it, all right? Come on, just do it. Perny shrugs and begins drawing a mustache on the dragon. The two of you crawl through the tunnel for what seems like an eternity. <laughs> Go by a funny hat at the store and put it on the dragon's head. Okay, why are we going back in? Buy a funny hat at the store and put it on the dragon's head. Perny looks at you and begins to laugh. <laughs> That's really funny. Two of you crawl through the tunnel for what seems like an eternity. Crawling. Just <laughs> blow up the tunnel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna plant C4 on the ground. Crawl through the tunnel for what feels like an eternity. Soon you find yourself out of the tunnel and you're standing on a sidewalk. You plant C4 in the tunnel. You press a button on your watch and the entire tunnel explodes. You and Perny are thrown across the room. Haha, <laughs> that was great! Okay, leave the tunnel. You leave the tunnel, you walk outside the building and begin walking down the road. Where are we? I don't know, I've never been here before, have you? Yeah, I want to look for the dragon to see if he's- if, see if I, like, blew him up. I've never been here before, have you? I've never left my house. I guess it's new to both of us. You look around, you're in a city surrounded by high-rise buildings. Where's the dragon? We're not in Springfield anymore. Oh, I think it's because it did you look, right? Yes. You do look for the dragon, not you look. Get out of here, Perny shrieks. The two of you walk around the city, marveling at everything around you. Attempt to attach yourself to a building with your hands. You attempt to attach yourself to a building with your hands. You find yourself swinging through the air. After a few minutes of this, you land on another building. I'm never doing that again. Go back down to Perny. He's retired. You walk over to Perny, who is sitting on the street. What's going on? Me legs hurt from walking around so much. And? It's so funny when the AI just doesn't know what else to do. It tries, it's sitting there going, fuck, all right, what am I pulling from here? What am I gonna do here? It's got like trillions of days of content. Can we take a break? Sure. Sit down next to Perny. Do you know where we are? No, do you? Yeah. We are in Acropolis of the old drowned deem uh the we're in the metropolis of the old drowned of the old drowned lake. That's where we are. How do you know that? I can see signs. Bad name? I was making it up on the spot to make Perny think I knew anything. That's what the place is called, by the way. Can you not read? No. You look at Perny. He's staring at his feet. I want to go home. And just take the bus. I don't have any money. Neither do I. Maybe we can find something to trade. Okay, go ex explore one of the alleys. Trade Bitcoin. I, I don't have any Bitcoin. Here we go. To explore one of the alleys, you see a merchant standing outside of his shop, putting up a sign that says, Demons for Sale. The merchant looks up at you and sees you. Go away! Can you steal a demon? What kinds... What kinds of demons do you have? What kind... What kind of demons do you sell? There we go, that's a better way. The evil kind. That's it, I'm out of here. You walk away from the guy. Come back! He screams. Turn... And go back. What? You're the dragon killer, correct? Yeah. There's a dragon nearby! 
kill it, and I'll give you anything you want. I want upfront payment. <laughs> how big should I ask? How big is the dragon's ass? Because if not, this I've got two killed. I've done it twice. Uh, I didn't like that. Hold on. You turn away. Yay, the dragon killer. I want to be paid now. I want to be paid now. Fine. Here's some money. More when you kill the dragon. Bernie is just staring at you. This is not enough. Are you crazy? That's a lot of money. Not for killing a dragon. You're not getting any more. Now, if you don't want to work for me, that's fine. There are other adventurers who will. You look at the merchant and at Perny. If you give me one of those demons, got a deal. The merchant goes back into his shop. He comes out with a small black creature. Powers does it have? It can make you invisible. Look into its eyes and twist the ring on its tail. Look at the creature. Okay. Twist the ring on the creature's tail. I'm looking at it right now. You twist. Is this the Avengers? You twist the ring on the creature's tail. The demon disappears. You now see yourself holding nothing. But the merchant still sees you holding the demon. You walk outside. Where's the demon? When it makes the demon invisible. I want a different demon. Only invisible to me. <laughs> he goes back inside and comes back with a big red creature. What does this one do? That is fucking useless. So I look into its eyes and twist its ring. And it makes it invisible to me, but not other people. What's the point of that? Just so it can like fuck with me? It can come in my house and like mess up all my clothes and my laundry room and shit and then leave and, and no, I, I don't understand. It's a big red creature. What does this one do? I don't know. Nothing, probably. It's not even alive, just painted. You stare at the merchant, he stares back. Get me a demon worthy of a great war. I'm going to fight a dragon. Didn't like that. Go back. I just hit him in the head with like a frying pan or something. Okay, I'm gonna, here's what we're gonna do. Motion, motion, Ernie. To, to rob his store. No, like, go get in there. I'm gonna keep talking to him about his demons. You motion to Perny to rob his store. You motion to Perny to rob his store. What are you doing? Tell Perny to rob the store while you distract him. You're a bad influence on Perny. Am I? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm done. Let's go. Oh my god, you just scared the shit out of me. Did you guys hear that? Holy shit. You can give me a heart attack. You did, oh, because my, my noise gate is on. She popped in the room and went BOOM! Holy shit, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna get Otto. Where is it? In the blanket. She's coming to get Otto. She scared the shit out of me. It's so horrible. They're like, oh, he dodged quickly and goes and says, boo! I'm probably going to get killed in real life. That's what just happened. Okay. <laughs> you hit him in the head with a bag of sand. He falls to the ground. You motion to Bernie to rob the store <laughs> while he's unconscious. He nods and quickly goes inside. Why wouldn't you just... I was trying to tell him to do it. I swear to God. <sighs> okay. Let's see what they do. You hear sirens not long after he goes inside. We gotta get out of here. You and Perny run away and the guards chase after you. I am here to slay the dragon. What? I'm here to slay the dragon. What are you talking about? There is no dragon. Is not? Is that guy just on bath salts? I don't get it. I just killed a dragon. Use the demons on the guards. I just killed a dragon. What are you talking about? There is no dragon. You stare at him. What's going on here? You're not the sheriff. Let the demon... Let... You know what? Here we go. Let all the demons out of the store to attack. All of them. All anarchy. You let all the demons out of the store to attack. You open the door and all the demons come flying out. They don't attack you. They'll, they'll go after the sheriff. A lot of Ghostbusters. Stop them. Don't let them get away. You and Perny easily outrun the sheriff and his men. Come with me, kid. We gotta get out of here. Leave. <laughs> hey, kid. You leave the town and head back to your kingdom. After a few days of walking, you arrive. I'm back. Your dragon wakes up and eagerly awaits her meal. You stand still. The dragon breathes fire all over you. What? 
<laughs> what was my goal? <laughs> I'm being cooked. Dragon breathes fire all over you. After it stops, ah. after it stops, you look at your hand. It's completely black. I need a new hand. You rip off your blackened hand and throw it on the ground. Oh my god. I want a new hand. Your mother runs into the room. What happened? The dragon burned my hand off. I hope the dragon gets grounded for a week. You cry. Here's your new hand. You take the new hand. Thanks, mom. Your mother nods. Be careful. She didn't say it was attached. Stare at the dragon. The dragon stares back. What are you looking at? You continue to stare. Fine then. Don't talk to me. Uppercut. That's not going to work. It's a dragon. Ride the dragon. Can I ride you? Oh yeah, right. That's what I want to do that for the very beginning. Use the PS2 board game. The dragon shakes its head. No. Why not? You'll fall and get hurt. But I want to ride you. I am very strong. I can handle it. Fine. The dragon walks over to you. You climb onto its back. It takes off into the sky. Wee. Okay. Head towards the city. You head towards the city. The dragon. The dragon takes you higher into the sky. You can see the entire countryside. You spot another kingdom. Can we go there? The dragon shakes her head. Like, is it a yes or a no? The dragon shakes her head. Why not? The dragon doesn't respond, she takes you home instead. Come on, I'm hungry! You can eat me if you want. No, I want to live! The dragon shrugs and goes to the kitchen. You follow her, you see your mother cooking dinner. How big is this dragon? Look at the dinner. The dragon is the mom. You look at the dinner, it looks delicious. There's mashed potatoes, gravy, roast beef, buttered carrots and corn. Pickled cucumbers! Your mother says, noticing you looking at them. That sounds really good. I wish I could eat that. Right now. I want something else. This looks icky. <sighs> what do you want then? I don't know. You see a bottle of ketchup. Just drinking ketchup. You squeeze the bottle of ketchup into your mouth. You immediately spit it out. Ugh, what is that stuff? Ketchup. It's horrible. I want something else. <laughs> no, you'll eat what we have for dinner and you'll like it. No, I won't. I want Captain Crunch. We don't have any Captain Crunch. We have oatmeal. I don't like oatmeal. Fine, no oatmeal then. I want two hot dogs and mac and cheese. Your mother sighs. Fine. Your mother turns away and gets you some dinner. You sit down at the table. I want three hot dogs. Your mother sighs. <sighs> Fine. Your mother makes some more hot dogs and sits down with you to eat them. You eat as fast as you can, making piggy noises. You eat all the hot dogs, then you look at your mother. I'm still hungry. Dragon's still outside? Your mother laughs. I'm still hungry. Me too, your mother laughs. There's more in the kitchen. You go back into the kitchen and see a plate of bacon. I want that. You eat all the bacon. Now you're really full. I don't want to go upstairs. Okay, you sit down and watch TV with your mom. The next day, I ask my mom to make the mac and cheese. You ask your mom to make you mac and cheese. Do it yourself. You go to the kitchen, you see a box of macaroni on the counter. I can make it myself. You turn on every burner. Unfortunately, they are all electric. You can't turn them on. Why didn't mom have gas ones? You look in the cupboard. Find a gas stove in the cupboard. No. <laughs> what? Uh, mac and cheese. No, well, yeah, I gotta do this right. Oil. Water. And then you put the macaroni in. Water heats up. Yes! You turn off the stove and quickly open the box of macaroni. You put some in the water and wait. Done! Drain the macaroni. You drain the macaroni. You grab a fork and sit down at the table. You see your mom walk in. What are you doing? Eating. You didn't think I could do it on my own, did you? I don't have any cheese in it? You didn't think I could do it on my own, did you? No. Your mom sits down to eat. How do you plan on winning the quest? I don't even know what the quest is. You can't have any. There is some stale bread on the counter. Thanks. You eat the macaroni. It's delicious. That night, you demand more mac and cheese from your mother. No, you go to bed hungry. The next morning, I'm hungry. Your mom hands you a bag of chips. What's the meme? What's the meme? 
Knock the bag of chips out of her hand. You pissed her off. <laughs> you knocked the bag of chips out of chip, chips out of her hand. I want real food. I'm hungry now. Your mom sighs. Fine. She goes to the kitchen. I want chicken tenders. No. You see, your mom makes some eggs. You could have this and like it. You sit down and eat. Is that? Look up. Throw the eggs in the trash. <laughs> You look up. There seems to be more egg than toast. The yolk is falling off and making a mess. <clears throat> I want more. Your mom sighs and gets you some more food. You throw the eggs into the trash. Your mom walks in. Why did you do that? I didn't want them. You go to the living room. This <laughs> is Cartman. <laughs> I want to see if anything else adds on top of this. <sighs> okay. You go into the living room. Do we have any soda? No, now stop asking questions and go watch TV. You watch TV for a while, then you go back to the kitchen. Get the eggs out of the trash and put them on a plate. You go back to the living room and watch TV, then you go back to the kitchen. Your mom walks in. I can't do that, that's, that's horrible. Drop the eggs into the DVD player's CD tray. I'm just like, a, I'm just a little brat fuck, yeah. You drop the eggs into the DVD player's CD tray. What did you do that for? I don't know. <sighs> the next day, I'm hungry. I want some eggs. I don't have any. You go to the refrigerator. I want to eat something. Your mom hands you a hot dog. Here. Eat the hot dog in one bite. Like, just the whole thing. Raw. <laughs> you eat the hot dog in one bite. I want something else. Your mom gives you some apple juice. Here, you take a sip. It's extremely sour. You spit the apple juice into the radiator. No more. <sighs> Your mom sighs and goes to the kitchen. You follow her. She gets you a package of macaroni. What happened to the other characters? Where are my friends? They're in school. You go watch TV. Then you go back to the kitchen. Then you go back to the living room. That night, sneak out the window. I'm, I'm too dumb for school? You sneak out the window. You climb down the tree and run into the woods. You turn around and look at your house. It's normal. A little fixer-upper, but nothing too bad. House flipper. <laughs> Start doing, start doing additions to the house. Go knock down a wall at your house. You walk back and begin to take pieces of sheetrock off the walls. You can feel the world changing color around you. <laughs> I'm being put, what, um, somebody said asbestos? You add a fourth bathroom to your home. You open up all the walls in the house and see the inn in the distance. You can feel it changing. Ask mom if she likes the new look. You see her walk in and shriek. What's happened? She looks around and begins to buckle. It's over! I painted the walls macaroni and cheese yellow. Mom sits down against the wall. It's over. She begins to weep. It's all over. Uh, sit down. It'll be okay. No, it won't. It's all gone. We will still have each other. It should have been better than this. Project reality. Alright, this one's gonna have to- uh, This is gonna come to an end. You raid the fridge. You open it up. They're too tired to stand. There's nothing much in there. Just some bottle of water and a few cans of Coca-Cola. Yeah, let's go share a Coke with Mom. Hand her a bottle. To us. And to the future. She looks at you. There's a glint in her eye. Cheers! Take a swig! It's really bad, isn't it? Yep. You finish the Coca-Cola in silence, then you go back to bed. Alright, I have to leave this house. The end. I shared a Coke with Mom. It's really bad? Well, this is a- yeah, that's not a Coke ad. It's a rival brand ad. Hey mom, wanted to say thanks. And I love you. I love you too, while it still can be said. You'll go back to bed the next morning. Cook a full, cook a full spread for mom. Cook a big egg salad. Cook a big, cook an elaborate dinner for mom. Oh, mayo here? Yeah, that's fucked up. You head down to the grocery store to get some groceries. You pick up some apples, a rotisserie chicken, and a box of macaroni and cheese. You're the mom now? Grab a bottle of mayo. You go to the cashier. The cashier eyes you disapprovingly, then scans your groceries. That'll be twenty-five thirty-six. Uh, go fuck yourself. You need change? You get your change and head out the door. You go back home and put the groceries away. Just prepare dinner for mom. Yep, sounds about retail. Yeah. 
You prepare dinner for mom. You put a pot of water on the stove to boil and open the macaroni box. You empty it into the pot. Add the cheese. Make it stop. I, I, I'm, I try, try to get away from it. You add the cheese. You grab the chicken and put it in the oven. It's ready in half an hour. You take out two plates from the cabinet and begin to eat. Wait for mom. You wait for mom. Mom comes in and sits down. Something smells good. She begins to eat. Finally, some good fucking food. You both sit and eat in silence. Then she stops. Why? It's over. She puts her face in her hands and begins to weep. You go over to her. I'm sorry, mom. It isn't over. Right? Like, I'm where I'm here. We're here. It isn't over. Look what you did. It isn't over. She looks up and smiles. Let's go to the living room. She picks up her plate and puts it in the sink. Go to the living room. You watch a lot of TV. You both sit down on the couch. Do you have any idea why this is happening? Not a clue. We should get some rest. Um, I have a dragon. Outside. She begins to laugh. I'm just joking, Mom. She picks up a throw pillow from the couch and hits you with it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, whatever, sport. Mom, I am serious. Dragon <laughs> is right outside. He chuckles. I'll see you in the morning. Get the dragon to come in the house. PS2 board gamer? No. You see, a, you get the dragon to come in the house. You see a large lizard slithering through the grass towards the front door. You open it and it slinks in. Okay. Mom, come look. At the dragon. But it's not, it's a lizard? <laughs> you say. Hey mom, come look at the dragon. She walks over and screams. It's a dragon! She runs into the kitchen and you hear the sound of her opening the freezer. What's in the freezer? I hope she takes out a, she comes back holding a tray of ice cubes. The dragon looks at her annoyed. She throws the ice cubes at the dragon, which slides away on its belly to avoid them. There is some logic behind this, because if the dragon is fire, you know, that's, that's like the stupidest logic ever, right? But it's there, kind of. The AI is trying. Hey, mom, stop. Looks at you, why? We need to help the dragon. What's it gonna do, eat us? <laughs> Tell the dragon to eat mom. The dragon opens its mouth and roars. Your mother looks down, dejected. I'll never be free, will I? I'm sorry, mom. It was... Just a joke. Just a prank. Why am I such a shitty child? Um, that's a really good question. But yeah, Perny, where the fuck is Perny? He looks at you, I know, I know, it's okay. You'd never hurt me on purpose. So imagine a mother hugging her son the next morning. I I've got to get away from, like, weird child and mom arc of this story. This one's been going on for like an hour. You look for mom, you search the house, but she's nowhere to be found. The back door is wide open. You walk outside and look around. Mom? You look around, but she's gone. You have no idea where she went. Ask the dragon. Ask the dragon where your mom is. You ask the dragon where your mom is, the dragon looks at you confused, then it shrugs and goes back to sleep. You stand there for a while, waiting for it to do something. You eat my mother. The dragon looks at you annoyed. It opens his mouth and flame shoots out. It burns your arm and you begin to feel faint. Did you eat her? The dragon says something in its strange language. You see a flash of your house in the distance. A woman stands in front of it, screaming. You run towards it, but the dragon flies in front of you. It looks at you, annoyed. You scream as the house is consumed by a ball of flame. Finally, the pain stops. <laughs> you raid the fridge and open a beer. It's pretty gross, but you manage to finish it. You go to sleep. The end. <laughs> I'm supposed to be like six. All right, I'm I'm out of here. I'm done. I can't do any more. It's been almost five hours. I don't I don't think my brain can handle any more of this. That was a very long Simpsons episode, yes. <laughs> Say epilogue. Fine. I'm just curious. My mommy's... My chest is killing me right now, let me be honest, because of that. It was two or three things today that seriously, it was just... Um, I, I, I hurt myself. I, I, my, I like broke my penis. And I swear to God, I'm not trying to be like funny. This is not like a funny joke. I actually was in the bathroom laughing so hard while taking a piss. I, I like, I, I'm, I've hurt myself today. Like it was, I was laughing too hard going to the bathroom. I just kept going over and over and over again in my head. What was happening? It was the panther thing. So accidental self-inflicted. Okay. There is no epilogue. Put a quote. Oh, okay.
Oh, that was a ton of fun, though. It always is. And I'm glad that it's been a full five hours. I knew it was going to happen. A new Eternal Darkness was just not going to happen. Raid, Raid, Joel, Raid. Yeah, well, that's, what's he doing? What's Joel up to today? Let's go find out what Joel is doing. We haven't raided Joel in a while. Having fun doing Rocksmith. Rocksmith, huh? Don't you play a real guitar? Wait, isn't guitar... Wait, isn't Rocksmith Guitar Hero for people that actually know music? I mean, I already like it so far. I was only there for five seconds. He's actually playing the guitar. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Head on over to Joel. Say hello. Take care.